I mean, have you showed people what your arm looks like right now? Have you put that um, on Instagram? I don't know if I have or not. Um, I don't know if you want to yet or what. what See, you're just showing. right now, you know. Just oh, like, my God. <laughs> you just did that right now? Right now. Right now. Yeah. See how the podcast keeps going? It's not I like, can't believe- hey, let's stop down, you know. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Are you sleeping on the same dingy, nasty sheets you had since college? I was too, for a long, long time. Until I had the epiphany that I didn't have to sleep on old, crummy sheets. And I discovered Brook Linen. I love Brook Linen sheets. I sleep on them every night. I love the colors. I love the fabric. It's just beautiful, clean, simple cotton. Let me tell you something, guys. I've tried all the sheets. I bought the most expensive hotel brands and I bought the least expensive, the the satiny ones. Those are all garbage. Brooklinen is where it's at. Not only do they have excellent sheets that come in wonderful colors, patterns, and materials to fit your needs and tastes, Brooklinen has over 50,000 five-star reviews and counting and is so confident in their product that all bedding comes with a lifetime warranty. And they also have robes and other uh, accessories, towels for your home. So don't wait. Do something nice for yourself. Go to brooklinen.com. Use promo code MOM to get 10% off your first order and free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter pro- promo code MOM for 10% off your first order plus free shipping. Brooklinen.com. Use promo code MOM at checkout. Whenever I talk to people about why I love therapy and why it's absolutely changed my life, um, I would say in the last decade that I've been devoted to it, people are like, it's too expensive. Really? Well, how much money did you spend on coffee this year or buying that ridiculous, um, you know, pair of jeans that you needed or whatever? You could have spent that on your mental health and your mental health. When you get that right, everything else falls in line and you're going to make so much money (laughs) that you're going to buy all the stuff you want and have a wonderful life. Trust me, therapy is imperative. And with Talkspace, uh, you can sign up online or download the app and start therapy the same day with a licensed therapist for a fraction of the price of traditional therapy. Depending on the plan you choose, you can message and schedule live video sessions with your therapist and you'll pay the same amount every month. So it's easy to budget. And that is huge, by the way, uh, being able to have same day access to your therapist 24 seven. They'll engage with you daily, five days a week. Talkspace covers over 40 million people for online therapy through their insurance or employer. And they have a great network of therapists to choose from talking to my friends is so different from talking to a licensed therapist who has the expertise and knowledge to give me practical guidance Talkspace gives us the support we need at an affordable price as a listener of this podcast you get $100 off your first month with Talkspace to match with a licensed therapist today go to Talkspace.com or download the app make sure you use the promo code your mom to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show that's your mom and Talkspace.com Sattva Mattress Company you have heard Tom and I talk about Sattva Mattress Company for years and people are like is it true do you really sleep on a Sattva mattress I do we do we sleep on the Solaire right now which is a fantastic comfortable beautiful plush bed that allows you to go up and down it even vibrates and it has a light so that you don't stumble when you get up in the middle of the night it is just the most wonderful we've also had the luxury firm mattress king sized what i love is that you can get a high quality mattress a huge size mattress for a fraction of the cost because it is a direct to consumer business customer service outstanding And uh, they'll take away your old mattress. It really is just a win-win with Sattva. And we love the Solaire so much that Sattva gave us our own URL. It is sattva.com slash the shit. When you purchase your next Sattva mattress, you will get $225 off if you go to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. When you buy your next mattress, tell them your mom's house sent you. Oh, welcome to YMH, my jeans above 18, my vegan vaginas. We are here on the Trans-Canada Highway. I am only one mommy with one jean. As you can see, my uh, the jeans of my life, the, 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 the loins of my fire, my loins, he is still... <laughs> 
He's in the um, in a recovery center right now and will be joining us shortly after he's done doing his PT, physical therapy, an OT, which is, I don't know, overtime is what they do, right? You bill it. Anyways, we're going to catch up on some YMH stuff. Nadav is here with me on the couch. Thank you for joining, Gene. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, hi, hi. What's going on, baby? Woo! We are here. We're queer. I'm non-binary. Mm-hmm. And it's been a wild, I don't know, when did, when did the accident happen now? It's been... December 1st. We've had... I mean, this is being recorded on December 14th, so it's yeah. been 14 straight days of craziness. <laughs> it's wild, right? It's what you know, because it's already so crazy, all the things that happen here, and like, oh, we could do this, and oh, now now we can't do this, and yeah. I mean, with this, uh, with, with this injury, it's pretty wild, all the things that we're able to do. So now, instead of Tom being right next to you, we're going to have him zoom in a little bit later as soon as he's <laughs> done with physical therapy, because that's the show. <laughs> so... <laughs> So yeah, Tom is at a recovery place and we're going to prop him up with pillows and we set him up on Zoom mm-hmm. and he'll be able to watch clips and chime in on this stuff. But you know, it's Tom's on a lot of drugs right now, guys. He sure is. <laughs> but but I'll tell you what, I have done tech checks for Zoom with the entire Segura family yes. so far. There's been Maria, Char, OMG. Top Dog, Tom, best tech check we've oh, ever done well, so of far. of course. In and out, he was... So breezy. He of knew course. everything. Oh, this button? I know what you're talking about. Of course. Click well, this. My, hu- my husband's the best. That's why I made babies with him. <laughs> he's a champ, and he's a goddamn fighter. And, uh, you know, it's been, an, it's been a nutty two weeks. I'm not going to lie. I did, um, by the time this airs, they will have seen the episode I did with uh, Bert for Two Bears. Right. And cameras rolled, and I just started crying immediately because I hadn't seen Bert since the accident happened and it was so emotional to go through it i, I mean right i mean how, how have you guys been i haven't even talked to you really yeah i mean i mean like even just seeing both of you two talk about it, i'm like this guy this traumatized both of you guys equally it seems like <laughs> not as much as like, the guy in the hospital but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like bert like bert got like uh, i remember i remember getting the Horrible. phone call when it happened and it's like i know that they're filming this happened on december 1st and I get a phone call. Like, first I get a text from Lindsay being like, hey, guys, this thing that we had an argument on, now's the time to, like, place bets on whether or not someone could do it or not. Mm. And I was like, oh, placing bets on this, placing bets on that. And then I didn't hear anything for about an hour. And then Bert calls me. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, this is probably for camera. I'm like, oh, what's up, Bert? He's like, Tom broke half his body. He broke his leg and his arm. And uh, yeah. yeah, buddy, uh, we got to reschedule two bears tomorrow. I'm like, uh huh, okay, buddy. Yeah. Like, I, I still think it's a bit. Yeah. And I had to ask two or three times before. He's like, no, 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 no legit. The shoot's not happening tomorrow. Like, this is getting called off and yeah. uh, we need to figure some stuff out. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow. See, I didn't realize that you got the lead up to what was happening like right. i didn't i was just putting down the babies i was alone with the kids it's the evening i knew they were shooting something together and i i see that bird is calling and immediately i go oh he wants me to chime in on some horse shit like right push tom said that you're giving him blowjobs <laughs> the way leanne gives me blowjobs i want to see you or what you know and i was like i'm not answering this right. horse shit you thought it was an on-camera phone call yeah and right. then of course i go to take a pee and i'm holding my phone and then Tom calls in just as I'm peeing. And I thank God I was on the toilet for some reason because it, it was like oddly soothing that I was doing something else at the same time. Like, oh, I'm pissing. I'm, and he's like, babe, everything's okay. I'm in an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> like those two sentences do not go together. I can only all. imagine how <laughs> terrified you were. Yeah. That you went from like, oh, I'm not dealing with their bullshit to immediately yeah. ambulance talk. Well, because I wasn't sure. Well, they'll talk about it all on Two Bears Live right? on New Year's Eve. You guys will get to hear the full story. And you'll get to see because we were, they were filming this when the injury the worst happened. Part. So the injury is going to premiere on Two Bears Live on ymhstudios.com <laughs> slash live stream. Get your tickets now. Great. Great. <laughs> That's the stupidest part of all of this is my husband is broken in half and you guys are like, oh, but the footage is awesome. <laughs> the, the, Dude, they're going to love seeing this. I'm like, are you kidding me? But I guess like you have to turn tragedy into comedy, which is what we've done here at YMH. You know, you right. we got fired uh, from McDonald's. We lost two and a half million dollars. We turn around, we fucking made it into comedy gold. 
And, uh, and you know what's funny? Morton's fired us. <laughs> the person who put up <laughs> the first YMH live fires. We came back, and this is how we prevail at YMH yeah. Studios. We turn tragedies into fucking comedies. Yeah. You try and fire us, we just get <laughs> fired up. Fire me, fire you. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, fired up, man. <laughs> you know what? But I'll tell you what, man, because people are like, Christina, how are you doing? Are you going to be okay? I'm like, you know what? You know what? 2020 has been such a cocksuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I am strong Eastern European woman. This shit does not fucking phase me, okay? I take care of everything. You see, I'm here now. I take care of fucking everything. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> so let's get to it, though, before Tommy gets here. Mm. Oh, yeah. We should probably open the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom usually does that. <laughs> I know I never get to open the show. Tom always, that's his responsibility. Historically, Tom has always had the laptop. Um, okay, so I get to fucking say it. Let's go ahead and get into the show. If you're horny, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stupid. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Ew. Don't bother the fucking Well, Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Go, 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 meow, 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 meow. It's just not the same without him, though. I know. It's weird. Like, it felt we like I didn't want to air a guitar. I'm like, that's not my thing. That's it's not your thing. thing. You can't do it without Tommy. Even doing the meows felt weird to me. I know. It's I two mommies, one jeans. I know. Anyways, it has been weird without him in the house now for the last two weeks. I'll tell you that I've been sleeping really well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, not in the beginning because I was traumatized. But <laughs> now, like, I, I fall asleep and I'm not listening to sounds of people being murdered or like drug cartel uh -huh. shows. So what are you filling that void with? Well, I've been watching The Crown <laughs> <laughs> and like really gaying down on it, you know? <laughs> Where, so, so The Crown, oh my God. Queen's Gambit. Queen, I mean, yeah. so I mean, female empowerment. All the way. Shows are, is your murder content. Um, I guess so. I think there's something I like about royalty, but The Crown, have you, have you watched The Crown? I know you're a boy. I, I tried watching an episode of it, and I'm like, good Christ, this is dry. <laughs> the first episode is not so good, and then it gets way better. Confirmed. <laughs> I could confirm that. But I like Which is that wild because it's the pilot. I know. It's supposed to really it's supposed suck to you bang. in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I do enjoy is I can watch the gayest shit now without any judgment. Like, I'm doing mm. Below Decks. I'm Ooh. doing all, all the Bravo. Yeah. I'm watching all the Hallmark Channel. I think that's bad for you. You think so? Yeah. So you go, anyone going unchecked is bad for them. <laughs> and I think that's what you're missing right now. <laughs> I know. I don't have anybody there to tell me how ridiculous that is. Right. Don't watch yeah. Below Deck. You're, you have a functioning. I know. But I need him there. Um, but I've been, <laughs> yeah, I go to bed at like nine, which has been nice too. Mm. Yeah. And um, also, I have, a, I have a very important dental update for the audience. I know this is very important in the YMH world. If we could go ahead and get the music. Thank you. Mm. Yes, breaking news, you guys. Yep. So in the midst of all this drama, some of you may have seen on my Instagram account, at the Christina P. Oh, yeah. That, so I'm in the hospital with Tom. <laughs> And it's the day he's going to check out and go to this recovery center. And of course, I uh, ordered us a beautiful sushi lunch, very expensive one. I was like, you know what? We should treat ourselves right today, Tom. Mm. And I'm biting into a perfect spicy tuna hand roll, like a beautiful one. And you know when you can hear your teeth breaking in your head? Do you ever have like a no. feeling? Oh, you've never? I've <laughs> never had that. <laughs> you can like, you feel it in your skull when you're your veneer lifts like the glue was coming out 
off and I could feel it and I was like, <gasps> like I immediately felt it moving and I was fine. And then I took another bite and I was like, Tom. And I looked up and this is what I look like. And Tom was like, oh, it's off. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's, it's horrible. It's not as shaved down as I thought it was underneath the veneer. Can you zoom in on that, Zolo? It, it's way yellower than the rest. Yeah, it looks like a corn, a piece of corn. See, see, I don't think you'd look bad if all of your mouth looked like that little one. What are you talking about? I think that'd look be a pretty cool look. I think a lot of rappers are doing that now. They're just actually, I am seeing that some body mod modification where they're just sharpening all their teeth. Yeah, I've seen that too. And it's just like they just look like like Pixar sharks. Like they look crazy, dog. You You think I should do that? that. But I mean, look I think at you that. should. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Rebrand so, of Grade 2020. I know. So I had to get my tooth glued back in. Thankfully, the doctor agreed to do it right away. And then I went back to the hospital and helped Tom get out of that. It was it was wild, dude. What a way! What a what a way! What a way to end 2020. <laughs> I mean, there's still at this point, there's still two weeks left. But I mean, yeah, a whole bunch left could still happen. I know it's such a bummer. Like, I mean, I've been kind of waiting for this to happen my whole life with veneers. For the veneer to pop out. Because I've heard stories. Yeah, I heard a story once that Steve Harvey was somewhere on the road and he bit into a chicken wing and it popped off and he got on a plane immediately and went home to have a fix. Like, this is my worst nightmare is that I'm in some small town. Oh, yeah, getting your Steve Harvey's all fucked yeah, up? Yeah. When the, Steve Harvey gets a Steve Harvey's fucked up? <laughs> you can't do that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what what would I have done? I mean, I, I shoved the tooth right back in when it happened and believe it or not, it, it stayed in on its own pretty well. <laughs> Like I could, I couldn't really talk, <laughs> but I don't know, man. What I mean, what's your worst fear? Is it is it knocking out a tooth? Is it falling down and cracking your head open? My, I mean, my worst fear is another knee injury, because oh. that's the type of like I know that pain very well, like so much where like I can't watch what people. Do, what do you jump. mean another one? When when did it happen? I had a freak trampoline accident. What? Yeah. When? Um, when I was, I think, 23, 24. Oh, my God. And I tore my meniscus and ACL, and I had, it like, a cadaver ACL put in my knee, and it was a whole thing. So now I can't watch people jump on trampolines without, like, wincing every time they jump. And when I have to, like, drop from a ledge where it's like, oh, yeah, hey, just drop this, like, one foot, like, jump from this thing to, like, one foot distance, like, that scares the shit Fuck out that. of me. I'm like, I'm going to fucking fuck it up again. Fuck. I tell you, those trampolines are just death toys. They really are. They are are so fucking dangerous. I'm never getting one from my kids. No way. But actually, you know what reminds me? And seeing your veneer pop out is my own dental update. You have one. I I have a lack of one. Well, we all knew that. Well, well, I mean, the last time I was going to take, I was going to take care of my, and I was going to do the whole fucking thing. I was going to do a full teeth tell cleaning. Me, tell me what you I were going to do. First was, of all, when's the last time? Okay, before this appointment, mm. when's the last time you had your teeth looked at, x-rays, the full ever in your life? You're you're a 30-year-old now? X-rays. Oh, my God. Seriously? I mean, pro- I probably had some baby teeth probably when, when I got my last x-ray in. I mean, that's, that's kid shit, though. Okay, okay. Dental so, x-rays is kid shit. No, it's not. I'm an adult. Right. Well, you do that. You're supposed to do that every... Like when the dentist sees fit, maybe every year. Wait, what? You're supposed to get x-rays every year? Well, no, you're supposed to get cleanings every year. Every six months, you're supposed no. to get cleanings. Mm. Mm. Okay, so. See, but the, the, they say I have really good salivary glands. That like, That's disgusting. No, 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 because it adds a layer of protect. They're like. What the fuck are you even talking they're about? They're like, all your teeth should have fallen out, but you salivate so much that it kind of protects it a little bit. Wow, you are you're making so many girls wet right now with this kind of stuff. As wet as my mouth. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but but here here's actually what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. So <sighs> I like the last time I went to the dentist. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick. Was because I went to I think a really shitty Chinese buffet and I got one of those uh, saltwater eel rolls. I fucking love those. And they didn't debone it, so I had a yeah. bone go straight into a gum and like. Like like one of those tiny bones that are like kind of malleable, yeah. And it stayed there for like a day, and I'm like, it's starting to feel hot. It feels hot in my mouth right now. Like that means infection, right? It does. And so I th- that was the last time I had it cleaned, and that was maybe three years ago. And th- I was like, it's too long. My my teeth are gross. My teeth are you know off. Not they're not white. No. 
So I was going to, I finally was proud of myself. I took care of it. I was like, I'm scheduling a full teeth cleaning. I'm scheduling a two-part tooth whitening. Wait, good for you. Yeah. And then? And then coronavirus happened. You guys kept on changing the schedule (laughs) on uh, when we did that uh, Dr. Alexis Fox coming in to do that special one. And ever since then, it's just been like, well, this is what happens when I try and take care of myself. I'm just going to like not do that. that, This is ridiculous. You you need to rebook this. Let's... We're, yeah, I've been saying that for like a year since, we, <laughs> since we've been doing that. But it's like all this crazy stuff happens. It, it's, it's been like, a lot. Yeah, you know they're not open on the weekends, and it's like, what am I going to do? Fucking wake up at four a.m. so I can get there at six? Tell you what, we we will find a time for you at Studio <laughs> Jeans. <laughs> the studio will go dark for a day or five for me to get a teeth whitening. Well, and we're gonna have Lindsay follow you and make it into oh, no. a documentary well yeah because there's no way first of all how did you even find out that your salo, salo, salivary glands were overactive because we were all really surprised i had no cavities and they're like that's why i'm surprised you didn't have cavities i'm shocked i don't have cavities yeah your and mouth like is my, disgusting and my, i know and my yeah. num- and my numbers like they're getting close to the border where it's just like well what's the good is it good to have a one or is it good to have a four what are you talking about? When they check your guns? When they, when they stab your shit and they're like, "Yeah, what, is the low number bad or is the high number bad? The high number is bad because it means you're in gum disease. So like four, four right. is red alert. Five is like right. you're, you're so, going to die. So look, I don't have ones. I'll tell you that. No, no, not in that mouth. <laughs> yeah, not in this mouth. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I might God. have one or two twos, mostly threes. Oh, you're so gross. So, and lucky. And lucky. And I got a wet mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Got that beautiful wet mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to suck it dry, Mark. So, so holy shit, yeah. So so this is so gnarly, and you smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that mouth is. And I drink. I I ch- like I I use coffee as a meal replacement sometimes too. So it's like everything I'm God. doing to my yeah. I'm I'm doing the opposite. I'm blackening my teeth. Oh yeah. Cough, caffeinating my teeth. Oh, and your breath must. I haven't smelled it, but I imagine it's just. I mean, once I put the mask on, it's. You, uh, you smell your I'm own. I'm just like, this is what it's been like. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it's not. It's not that bad. Like I've never gotten any complaints. I have straight up asked like ladies that I've that I've you made have? that with. I'm just like, hey, is this fucked up? <laughs> and they're like, no, it's. Fine. You're fine. You're fine. Well, I I will say that when I smoked cigarettes, mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed the smell. Of another person's cigarette breath. Oh, but here's the thing. I thi- liked it. But here's the thing, though. Like, I'm super conscious about not having anyone absorb that secondhand taste from my mouth. So mm. if I'm hanging out with anyone, like, if I'm going on a date, I just, like, don't smoke that day. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really, that's a lot of restraint. Yeah. And what's your other body regimen like? Do you, uh, are you showering every day and stuff? If I'm coming into work, yeah. If you're, if you're coming into work. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And then what's your weekend like? Is it just off the rails? Are you not brushing your It's teeth? just, I just hit the off button mm-hmm. until Monday morning. And then I turn the on button back on <laughs> and I take care of myself again. So <laughs> by that you mean, are so you wake up and it's no teeth brush. It's straight to coffee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Straight to coffee. Sometimes food. Straight to food. Straight to food. And mm-hmm. you haven't brushed yet. Right. Okay. And then it's on, and then what you watch, are you watching TV? Are you playing video games? Um, to tell you the truth, it's all kind of a blur because I've been in the stock game. So I'm like trying to like pick up on all these, all this stock info from all these uh, gambling what are you addicts talking online. About? Your stock, stock, you're buying I'm, stock I'm online. Big, I'm big into stocks. I'm big into stocks. Well, look at you. Yeah. Cause I suck at gambling. Oh my God. That totally reminds me. Sorry. Cause yeah. you, that, that, when you're like, I'm into stocks, I'm like, that's so Jewy of you. Yeah. And we were sitting around having a great lunchtime. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, 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 hygiene. I just yeah. imagine it's disgusting. And like, I get it. It is. Yeah. You just probably don't wash your cock and balls or your asshole for two days, right? Here's the thing. And then you shit a lot. If someone else is coming in to encounter it, it's getting cleaned. Right. Yeah. But if you're alone. But it's like, I'm going to suck myself, Christina. I don't need to make my dick nice Ew. for me. Ew. <laughs> 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 Did you hear that, Henny? Guys, cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not going to suck myself. Wow. Wow. Henny, I believe that you're hygienic, even if there's no girl present. Is that accurate? Yeah, man. That, that, shit, yeah. Uh, that shit cakes up, bro. Mm. You don't let it You let it sit for two days. That's, that's why uh, they talk about that white people smell. That's what that's from, homie. That's right. 
That's why people smell. Christina, you smell like that too. Don't get too excited. <laughs> I smell like that too? Every, every uh, white person smells like no, that. No, Annie, you've <laughs> smelled me. Uh, no, no, no. You, you don't smell like that. And actually, See? wait, but I do smell like white people? Yeah. I, I don't. Well, I haven't smelled you wet yet. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. We haven't gone to a pool yet. When we go to a pool, trust me, I'm going to smell you real close and I'll let you know. I smell I'll like a know. J. I definitely, I, I look and I wait smell a and I sound like Is a there J. a Jew smell? Do, do Annie? Jews smell? Any? I, I don't know. I don't know that one. <laughs> you just white people or just blanket? Just just white people, yeah. Same thing. But uh, so I had this. We were discussing it. We have these great lunchtime discussions. Oh, What's up? I'm getting a text from Tom saying uh, he's, he's getting anxious. He's getting okay. Let's let's he's bring him anxious. in. Let's get him in. Tom wants to come in. How are we gonna do this, guys? He's just gonna pop up let's, on the Zoom. Uh, let's stop down real quick. Okay, here we'll he comes. Get a, we'll get him in. Here he comes. You come. You All come, right. Mike. Mark. <laughs> You know, my husband speaks fluent Spanish, and I took it in high school, but I need help refreshing. So I've been using Babbel, and it's great to do. Um, you know, I don't like to be on social media and wasting my time. I love getting on my phone when I have a few minutes and actually improving myself. And learning Spanish right now with Babbel has been so easy. The way they teach you, it just takes 10 to 15 minute lessons, right? It gets you speaking your new language within weeks. You start with words and phrases, and then the sentences gradually get more complex, and soon you're practicing short, short conversations. It really is interesting how they structure this app. Like, you think you don't know stuff, and then all of a sudden, through the repetition and the doing it, you're like, oh, I know what, I know what they're talking about. You can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Speak the language you've always wanted to with Babbel. And right now, Babbel is offering our listeners three months free with a purchase of a three-month subscription subscription with promo code mom visit babble.com and use promo code mom on your three month subscription that's b-a-b-b-e-l.com to use promo code mom babble language for life i don't know about you but for me food is basically a vehicle to put sauce on <laughs> and now with truff i am so excited to eat anything i put truff on all my stuff it really is a it's a luxury hot sauce that comes in like the most beautiful packaging it's a luxury hot sauce that makes every meal five stars it's crafted with a signature blend of red chili black truffle organic agave nectar and savory spices each bottle ships pristinely packaged and ready to gift Topped with Truff's eye-catching black diamond-shaped lid, hinting at the truffle-infused treasure inside. It's so unique. It really is such a great um, gift. It's so luxurious. Excuse me. And it just feels like you're you're in on something before everybody else is. It was on Oprah's favorite things list for two years in a row. See for yourself why Truff is the biggest hot sauce on Instagram and TikTok. Hello. Get 10% off site-wide when you use promo code MOM at Truff dot com t-r-u-f-f dot com that's 10 percent off everything including white truff vip box and truff variety pack just in time for the holidays just shop at truff.com that's t-r-u-f-f f as in fantastic dot com and use promo code mom o-m-g jeans the moment is finally here my beloved your mommy the two mommies that make up one jeans, Tom Segura, is finally with us via Zoom. You're here. I'm here. I'm here. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come. So I, um, yeah, I'm joining you from the recovery center that I'm at. Um, one of the things that's been so hilarious. I'm very happy to be podcasting, by the way. It's oh, we missed you. It's not the same without you, Gene. The number of people that have been like, hey, so what really happened? I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, this didn't happen during basketball. And I'm like, yeah, it did. And they're like, come on. What did you really do? I'm like, you think my cover story is just basketball? Like, I, like that's what I would, <laughs> that's what I would make up because I'm ashamed of what really happened. It just happened playing basketball. Well, it, I think people don't believe you because the extent of the damage done. Um, yeah. it, it's a, it, it, it's freakish. It's gnarly. It's gnarly yeah. damage. I just did PT. Uh, I just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago. I do it six days a week. And uh, my physical therapist was like, she's like, this is probably one of the gnarliest injuries I've seen in a while. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Yeah. So yeah. are we allowed to say what the prognosis is? Like how long before you'll be? Well, I mean, 
Some of around. it just takes time to heal. Um, I think the first time I'll be in studio will be for the New Year's Eve live show. Great. But yeah, that, that'll be the first time that I walk in the building. Um, and then I should be able to go in. I don't know if like I'll have to, um, I might have to sit on like the guest couch to do your mom's house for like a couple weeks or something. Oh my God. You know? Well, because of my left, my left, uh, I, so I can say what the damage is, right? I, I mean, know, that's not a, if you want a secret. To. So I tore my left patella tendon. Um, so they had to reattach it, and that's a that's um, it's something that they tell you. They go, uh, you have to generate tremendous force to do it. And I was like, well, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> so there's that. And then like, I'm I, an athlete. Duh. I snapped my uh, left humerus, which is the upper arm, in half. Will you be showing? And then I also have uh, radial nerve damage. So, not damage. It's I shouldn't say it's not damaged. It's not severed. It's just like traumatized by the injury. So it just takes a while to um, for it to kind of kick back on. So right now you have limited hand abilities. Is what you're saying? I have limited mobility. I have limited mobility for like, I mean, I have to walk with assistance. Like, I don't need a person. I just need an apparatus. Now, how will you masturbate? Everybody's wondering. The first thing the surgeon, so the surgeon came in and he goes, what hand do you jack off with? And I go, what? And he goes, this is the most important thing I ask <laughs> every patient. And I go, um... I go, you know, I'm ambidextrous, but like, I prefer my right. And he goes, oh God, okay, good. Um, and so, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that is, I'm so glad to hear that. So you will be able, and have you been masturbating a lot since the accident? Not one time. Oh, and wow. I gotta tell you, these <laughs> balls are full. <laughs> They're ready to go. Yeah. Well, you haven't exactly been horny. I mean, it's been. Oh, I wonder why. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah. By the way, I'm not going to get into it because we're going to show it on the New Year's show. I just want you guys to know, Bert <laughs> sucks at basketball. <laughs> he is terrible. Yeah. So don't be misled by any of his comments or posts or jokes. He fucking <laughs> sucks. I love him, but he sucks. Yeah. Is he? He's one of the worst basketball players I've been around in a long time. And what is he going? I didn't. I didn't read his tweets. He's going around saying that he's amazing or something. He he had the fucking audacity to say that he he was like I'm two and zero. Oh, I won. He is such garb. Listen, I'm immobile right now. I could beat him one on one right now. <laughs> oh wow, that's how bad. Yeah, he is. that's quite a claim, Tom. Well, what's that blue fluid you're drinking now? This. What is that? It's come from the North Pole. <laughs> now, Santa's elves sent it down. You also, since the accident happened, we've come a long way with your ability to pee into containers since you've pretty much been bedridden. Well, well here's uh, the thing. All you do, like for, I'm a little more mobile now. All you do is lay down, you know, mm. like now I'm, I'm moving. And all you do is like drink water, you know, sometimes Gatorade. Um, I introduced coffee a couple of days ago, but so all day you have to piss. I mean, all day I've had, I've had the nurses here and they're like, you're like a peeing machine. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm drinking fucking two gallons of fluid a day. Yeah. And so, yeah, you just have these, uh, you know, these are everywhere. Um, yeah. Show us your pee, your piss spots. These, these bad boys. <laughs> and you just, uh, you just whip your dick out and piss. Um, and I got to tell you, I'm in. I'm not <laughs> stopping this once I'm what? better. Are you saying that you will continue to piss into plastic First containers all, at home? Do you know how annoying it is when we're doing the show right there to be like, I got to get up and go to the bathroom? Yeah. I'm just going to do it right there at the seat. <laughs> I've also, I've lost <laughs> all sense of modesty. Every nurse, every staffer has seen my dick, my balls. <laughs> They've seen, touched, fingered, and wiped my asshole. That's crazy. Like I don't, I don't even. I just, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what, <laughs> this is what God gave me, and I just, everybody sees it. 
Well, Anna, I was a little upset in the beginning when I saw the nurses at this facility because they are all stunning. And I specifically... Here's the thing. Well, I requested ugly nurses. When I checked you in there, I said, yes, he can come here, but I want the least attractive people helping my husband. And they didn't do that. They're all hot Russian babes. They're all babes. Some some funny things have happened with my dick. So, (laughs) So I'm in the hospital, right? I'm in the hospital... They they give I I I am there on a Wednesday. They're doing surgery Friday. And like I remember Saturday, I was like, "Hey, how come my dick's not small?" <laughs> like usually when I'm in like medical situations, my dick will like creep up inside of me, and I'll be like, "Where's my dick?" I'm sitting there like pulling and holding on to it, sticking <laughs> it in the urinal. And every time I reach down, it's kind of like it's not hard. It's just like fluffy and full. And I'm like. Mm. What's going on, you know? So anyways, then I come over here and my dick has been more like, you know, like checking out the situation. What's going on? And he's going a little more like, um, like a little more retracting. So now it's, it's back to what I am used to in medical situations, which is like, you're like, hey man, like we're about to do something. Could you show up? And like wake up a little bit because it's been like really He's, retracting. He was, but why did he retract you think when you i think the reason it was full and fluffy was because of all the heroin i was on <laughs> and i would like to ask any <laughs> opiate addicts if their dicks are nice and full to listen to the show huh so you're saying the because you've been on a, a just a huge run i was on so many drugs and now i'm not now i um i'm not on dilaudid I'm not on Oxy. I'm on these fucking just bullshit pain. And then they're like, oh, you're getting Tylenol in a couple. I'm like, great. Sucks. So, but the pain's also a lot less than it was, you know? Mm-hmm. So wait, but the, so, so the, the, the heavy stuff made your dick fluffier and harder. And this is my theory. Yeah. But then here's, here's the, okay. But what about so the hot the nurses shit. too? Is that helping? No, no. The, the prettier people are here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is, is where it's smaller. Oh, got you. Okay, sorry. I'm I had fucking Carlos washing my dick at the hospital. <laughs> so, the first time I go to shit here, oh my God. This is when I'm in, I'm still in severe pain. And I'm using this walker and like, I'm three quarters of the way there. And they have to get a wheelchair because my tricep starts cramping. And um, I'm like, oh, my God, I, I don't want it to, like, cramp so hard. Because, you know, when you really cramp, you can kind of overreact. And, and then fall, I don't want to fall. So I always get the chair, put me in a chair. They wheel me a few more feet. I get back up. They had put a commode with handles over the toilet. And this is so you don't have to sit all the way down the toilet. The commode seat is for, like, a normal-sized person. Like, <laughs> Let's just say 160 pound male or something. I don't know. So when you're a man and you sit on a toilet, your junk sits inside the seat, right? Mm. This seat is so small that it's not even an option. My junk (laughs) is outside of it. (laughs) But when you're seated, you're seated and like your, your, your butt's down and your junk's up, your dick will naturally just start sinking in (laughs) to your body. So I look like that guy from the live show. Remember the big fat guy that ran? You yeah. just saw his balls. Yeah. So my dick is now inside my body, right? Because I'm, because I'm seated in such a way <laughs> that my dick has nowhere to go. Yeah. And one of the nurses, one of your nurses that you're so impressed with, looks over and I see her look at my junk and she goes, "Oh my god!" Like she reacts. She's like, "Oh," <laughs> like that. Like she's like, "I've never seen someone without a penis before." so then i have to hold a urinal over my dick because when you shit and and the other day when i went to do that i couldn't find the urinal (laughs) so i just pissed into my hand and pissed all over the place you peed in your hand in my hand but just it just went everywhere (laughs) and so i got done shitting I was able to I was able to wipe my ass like I scoot and I, so I couldn't wipe my ass for like 10 days. Oh my god, it was horrible. I was able to wipe my ass 
and the nurse is like, is everything good? I was like, there, uh, there's pee everywhere. She was like, what? I go, I couldn't, I peed in my hand. And, then it, and they're just like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Just, just, uh, we'll just get you back to bed. And then I go, well, here's the thing. I tried to clean up because there's, I just pissed all over the place. Oh, gosh. And I get back here and I'm, I, I piss some on my shorts. So I take my shorts off. So now I'm naked. And the nurse is like, well, let me clean you. And she's like, there's little pieces of paper all over your genitals. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I tried to clean the pee up. And she's like, here, let me get that for you. So she takes a rag, Aww. like has to clean. Yeah, it was pretty hot. I what? was real turned on. <laughs> and, and she was turned on. She was like, this is fucking hot, man. Well, you've also, because of the crazy amount of opiates you've been on, have had trouble browning. So they were packing you full. I know. And that was a so nightmare. I, this is day three of taking a natural shit. Thank you, God. <laughs> At first, you don't understand. I was getting, I was getting the good shit. Like, on the hour. They were like, are you in pen? I was like, yep, 10, full 10. Hot, most, most pain I've ever felt. And they would just be like, <laughs> give them another jab. Well, just jabbing me in the arm. Fucking pill after pill. Dilaudid is what they were giving him when I was visiting. Dilaudid. Dilaudid. I don't know how to fucking say it. Yeah. And I was going to visit you. I don't know if you remember this. Well, I told one, by the way, I told one of the nurses, I was like, what do you have that's stronger? And they're like, nothing. This is that's the top of the line. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember when I was in the hospital with you, we were chatting about the kids or whatever. And you would be like, how's Alice? And then they'd give you the, the Dilaudid. And then you would just nod off. <laughs> And then you'd come yeah. back and be like, so anyway, how's Ellis doing? Is he okay? Yeah. Like you would continue the conversation that we had five minutes. It was, in, it was, it was wild. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot. He, um, yeah, so you can't shit for um, those narcotics really, you know, they, they stop you up. So the first time I got injured on a Tuesday, so I didn't shit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I was like, hey, I'm getting worried. Because I heard, like, stories about people that don't go, like, for, you know, a long time, like any other people. <laughs> so I got I got nervous. So they're like, they're giving me pills. Nothing's working. So, like, we're going to give you a, a suppository. And I was like, okay. So I, they get me to stand up, bend over, put it in there, and they're like, you know, they're like, let it sit there for a while to work. Dude, I sat there for like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, an hour. I was like, when does it work? And they're like, it's not working. And I was like, no. Yeah. And then I finally went. It was such a disaster. <laughs> um, I mean, it was just, you know what it looked like? You know, those like, those videos that uh, I think Duncan brought where the guy's swimming in sewage. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like the sewage is coming yep. over him. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep, what yep. was coming. It wasn't like turds. It was just like a sewage line opened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. Well, I, I was then, there for one of those dumps and the smell was horrific. It, pretty nice. It yeah. smelled. And I didn't want to say anything at the time, but it really did smell like a sewer. You're right. It, it was. Oh, not, yeah. Yeah. One of the nurses was like, Hey, thank God we have to wear these COVID masks on. <laughs> I was like, yeah, lucky you. So then I, uh, then there was a second time um, here, twice here, twice here, nurses had to put uh, suppositories in me and they put their fingers all the way up your mm. ass. Yeah. Wow. So that stomach. really breaks down that hot stuff, huh? I mean, Breaks down the hot stuff, and it also makes you go, fuck these pain pills. I just want to shit again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I mean, you've been through so much in the last two weeks, and we're still... I mean, thankfully, we're, there's some light at the end of this tunnel now. Ball is life, bro. Ball is life. I just love to play ball. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what athletes... That's what happened to athletes. Anyway, Getting we... up all these pros, and I'm like, I get it, dog. I yeah. I totally get it. I don't want to see the video of you falling. Lindsay tried to show it to me. The cool me. thing about the video, here's the cool thing. Have you seen it? Like, have you watched it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. A few times. Um, it's really rare that somebody has video of themselves getting hurt. What's more <laughs> rare is that you have multiple angles. So, <laughs> do, 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 do. My shit yeah. is like ESPN. Like, yeah. Want to see it from this angle? Or how about this angle? Yeah. Yeah. 
Is that weird for you? I mean, what does it feel like to? Yeah, it's kind of weird. But yeah. I also remember everything so, so specifically that when I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, I remember. I remember. I remember every detail, you know. So, yeah, you know, it's just it, it was just it was a, it's the one thing I can just tell you is that it is a freak accident, you know. Yes, most definitely. Uh, and it I, wasn't I, from expecting. fucking Bart being good at basketball. It wasn't from him being good at basketball. Fuck no. That dude is trash. Okay. Well, I, I'm glad uh, about about that, Tom. I, um, but I'm glad that you're recovering mm. and I miss you. Let me tell you something else, though. Yeah. Because I'm see. shitting on his basketball. Yeah. Let me just tell you, though. Yeah. I love I love that guy. He's the best guy. Yes. And, and when this all happened, I have to give the Kreischers the utmost credit. The best. Being... They're the best. So helpful. I mean. Bert. And Leanne are angels. I love them to death. Bert's the best friend in the world. You're the best. You're the best wife I could ever ask for. And, you know, the, uh, yeah, when you have something like this happen, you really, I mean, you appreciate a whole bunch of things, you know, Ugh. like in, in your life. But like, yeah. the, my, I'm so grateful to the medical, horrible. medical community, like, those first responders, the, the paramedics, the nurses, the doctors, they're just, they're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. Such kind people. We were just talking about this yesterday. That Yeah. And well, now the PT people, oh, oh my, my God, gosh. they're like angels. They're just amazing. I mean, these are people that just want to help you. People who go into nursing, into medicine and stuff. They're not like us where we just want to horrify people. And yeah. especially you, you like to ruin people's day. That gives you the joy i'll give you a little i'll give you a little teaser about the injury though uh i sh I, sh I told the surgeon i go i have it on video and he was like what you have it on mm -hmm. video and i tell him you know what we were doing i go yeah and so he comes to check on me one day in the hospital i go i got a little something for you man <laughs> and i show it to him and he goes oh he goes i never want to see that again i'm sure you don't i go wait a minute you're jumping at that you you're a trauma surgeon he's like that was terrible I don't nice. want to see that. I mean, have you showed people what your arm looks like right now? Have you put that um, on Instagram? I don't know if I have or not. Um, I don't know if you want to yet or what, what you're just right now, you know. Just oh, bit. my God. <laughs> you just did that right now? Right now. Right now. Yeah. See how the podcast keeps going? It's not I like, can't believe Hey, let's stop down, you know. <laughs> that was amazing, Tommy. I am so proud of you right now. That was so perfect. I wish I could do this. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to wear a diaper, I guess. Um, well, I also yeah, but but yeah. but but I want to emphasize again, Bert. I mean, I'll, I'll get into it more, you know, when I'm back doing two bears in the live show. Absolute greatest, Lindsay, who works with us now, absolutely, just the greatest guy too. Helped me so much, and. Um, I just I just really appreciate them. And everybody here, thank you guys. I mean, we've all been keeping Studio Jeans afloat. Nadav, Annie, Chris, uh, Zolo, all these dudes. Uh, it's just yeah. been a collective effort to keep the ship moving. But yeah, no. that's... do you feel like do you feel like you guys were the Bulls and Jordan has decided to go play baseball for like a season or something? <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, it was great to have the Kreischers over at the house the first night when things were going yeah. down because I they're, was just out best. of my head. I couldn't even believe what had happened and I, I was not equipped emotionally. So thank God yeah. for those two, man. Yeah. Um, but in, um, I've had my own interesting developments too. Um, I had a recent dental tragedy, yeah. which we discussed earlier. The but funniest is the setting in which it happened. In the hospital, you mean? Even well, it's just that like, you're my wife. Your husband's had this traumatic freak thing it's happen. Horrible. You're just like, I'm coming to check on you. You're spending time <laughs> with me. I, you brought me, I don't know, something to eat or something. And Sushi. We ordered it from the best yeah, place yeah. in the and, fucking and LA. Like, and I'm like, you know, I just had surgery. I'm going to a rehab center. And you're just like, we'll get through this, babe. And then you're like, did my tooth just break? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And then and then I check and I'm like, no, you're fine. You're like, oh. And then uh, like five <laughs> seconds later, you're like, are you sure? And I see a black gap and I was like, um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, this week is really adding up. <laughs> so horrible. Oh, 
I was really at my wits end that day. I would say I was stretched to the max. I don't think there's anything more stressful than a, a tooth falling out of your head and your husband being in pieces. And yeah, that was terrible. And I'm mad that I didn't get to finish that lunch because can I'll you tell you what that? I did. I we, Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, those are the stitches. Can you, can yeah. you show them the underbelly? The can underarm? you, if it doesn't hurt, <sighs> yeah, guys. Yeah. And this is uh, recovered a little bit. I mean, a little bit. This is a lot recovered. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty horrible. I broke it on the 1st, December 1st, and we're recording this on, on the, the 14th. 14th. Yeah. So it's two weeks. Yeah. <sighs> this month can't go by fast enough. Yeah. But yeah. Um, also, I, I had another interesting thing happen just to lighten everybody's mood i know so many of you listening were deeply engrossed in my cream of wheat story and how i ate cream of wheat and then shortly had explosive diarrhea after and a lot of you thought that it was the fact that it was a warm bowl of cream of wheat this is an interesting story thank right? you yeah. i mean i know your story is cool but i've got a good one too yeah so, yeah no please keep going yeah yeah so the other day um juju he, he had a bowl of cream of wheat he had he let, didn't finish it it was cold, and I thought, oh, maybe it is the temperature. Let me eat you it. Went, uh, aha! <laughs> you had a breakthrough thought. I had a, a scientific experimental breakthrough thought, and I yeah. So I ate the cream of wheat cold, and I thought, surely, surely this won't affect me. And then guess what? Tom, half hour yeah. later, explosive diarrhea. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess cream of wheat just gives me diarrhea. So if I'm ever in the situation you are in where I'm taking opiates for a week straight and I can't shit, give me a bowl of cream of wheat. That's a good theory. <laughs> you might you might want to try it. I actually had one time I during this whole ordeal, I was sitting in bed and I was like, thank God this happened to me. I was like, if this had happened to my wife, or one of my kids. Oh my God. Uh, I was like, oh man, thank God it happened to me. Wait, wait, would you be sad if it, if I was hurt? Well, yeah, but I also don't think that you would, you know, handle it as well. <laughs> <laughs> what, what part? I don't know what you're talking about. All of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I t can I say... I can deal with a lot of pain. Okay. I've had yeah. two children come out sure. of me. I've yeah. been pregnant. I'm going to break your fucking arm when I get home and you tell me what hurts worse. Okay. <laughs> but I, I will say not, not, not the front, the humorous, the, the big arm. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that the worst part from as an outsider of this whole debacle for you, seriously, and I'm being hundred percent serious. The thing that gives me the most anxiety would be having to take a shit the way you did the other day and you couldn't terrible. get out of bed. And, and they, the nurses were like, can you go in the bedpan? I'm like, no, he, he hasn't shit the bed since he was two. You can't make an adult shit in their bed. It's so demeaning. I mean, that you, part gives me anxiety. You can. I just like, I go, Ugh, no, I just knowing where I was. I mean, we tried. We, they put it in there and I was like, it's just not happening, man. <laughs> Horrible. That part gives me and the most. I have the ugh. I have the double whammy because it's both of, on the left side. So that was well, I had this fucking guy at the hospital. A lot of people were great. This one guy was like, they had given me, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. And he's like, all right, cool. Like, here's the wipes, and uh, let me know when you're done. I was like, oh no, no, no. Like, you're gonna wipe me. And he was like, what? And I go, I, I can't wipe myself. <laughs> and he's like, he looked at me. And he was like, what? I go. Yeah, dude, I don't have like, I don't, at the time I couldn't like lean, you know, like I, I, how am I supposed to lean to the left? And I, I couldn't reach underneath. I'm like, you know, I need you and you're a fucking nurse. So how about you help out? And he was like, all right. <laughs> Begrudgingly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. He was like, all right, man. <laughs> and I gave him, I gave him a nasty one too. <laughs> That's the best part. I'm so happy yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Well, you're in a lovely facility now, and you look so much better than you did 
a week ago, even three days ago, right, Nadab? Nadab is shaking his head. Yeah, you've seen him this whole yeah, time. Yeah, man, you sound, you sound and look so <sighs> good. I'm, and I mean, I, I remember my biggest thought after hearing about this is, oh, I hope he's going to stop sending me videos of people dying. <laughs> and <laughs> almost immediately, Tom, you sent me quite a helicopter accident. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I remember your reaction was like, you want this prepped? <laughs> I and then you said, you go, can we please get out of this lane? <laughs> right. Which to yeah. which you responded, uh, this isn't for the show. This is just for you, man. And, the, and, then, <laughs> yeah. and then that made me feel good. And then. Yeah, I was like, it's no, I just want you to see. <laughs> I remember this like distinctly. I was like, "Hey, you know, there's blood mist in this one too." He's like, "Actually, there isn't, because it's not the propeller blade that, that's hitting the guy's head. It's something else that's getting hit." Look, man, it's not the blade that's doing it. it. Like, like that was supposed to ease me. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not showing you somebody's head getting cut off. It was just a high velocity <laughs> impact that knocked a guy out. <laughs> that dude's dead, man. That dude's dead. He is not dead. Uh, he is not dead. I have it on very reliable authority dude, that he is fine. Something <laughs> at the speed of a helicopter blade hit him in the head. Well, do we have this video? <laughs> Should we show this? Do we, we have, do it? have it? Let's we watch do have it. it. Oh, I have to, di I have well, to dig through dig, my... dig well, I didn't. You told me not to prep it. So I did <laughs> Oh, let me dig I just thought email. it was well, we when I see talk about it. cool things like that, I send them to you. Well, Tom, I mean, I think the audience and a lot of emails have come into the effect of the irony here being yes. that you are the most and you love violent videos. And now this has happened. Has this changed well, your love of violence the, in videos? The irony has completely been lost to me. I haven't thought about <laughs> it once. <laughs> I mean, it was literally... <laughs> The first, I'm in the ambulance and I was like, oh, they're all going to be like, this is karma. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know. And, and I, by the way, I am the, I will never discourage people from mocking it, laughing at it and whatever you feel about it. I have zero um, feelings about, you know, restricting that, like have fun with it. It, you know, some people won't even be able to tolerate it. To be honest, I, I've 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 showed it to a trauma surgeon who was like, I can't watch that. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I can. I have I... found the helicopter. Okay, okay. Video. Lindsay tried to yeah. show it to me the night it happened. He was over at our house, yeah. and I yeah. cry. I started crying. I had to stop that might, it. That might have been a little poor timing on Lindsay's part. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's like, do you want to see your husband get fucking almost killed? I'm like, nah, that's cool, bro. Okay, a little bit, yeah. and then I stopped. Yeah. Is this cool. the video, the helicopter video? Yeah, so Christina, why don't you weigh in on if you think this guy is okay or not? Sure. Because he, can you make it big? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm blowing it up, Tom, and um, you tell me. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I know it's gonna happen already. I'm terrified. <laughs> This guy's an idiot already. They're walking. Oh! <laughs> so, so it's funny because he's alive? Or what? Okay, first of all, the name of that video is He's Fine. Now, the second thing is that you can tell that something looks like snow, you know, snow ice particles are what hit the blade and <laughs> sent him down. And I think he's 100% fine. Oh, because I thought his head got hit by the uh, propeller. That's Fuck what I. No. That's what I thought oh, too. Oh yeah, because it because whenever they usually tell you to duck your head down when you're walking. No, no. If that propeller had hit, you would see his head go flying <laughs> off. <laughs> that would have been a better video. Well, I mean, I think the most important takeaway from this video is that it makes Tom happy. So <laughs> I think I think it's great that Trap. we get that Tom could still laugh. But you know what makes me happier? Are you going to go out with the king or not? Oh my god. Are you? Oh my going God. to actually are you gonna go out or not i mean man been... can i tell you something tommy oh, for people listening tom and i have been so and en just enthralled with the king the yeah. this whole week literally every text every morning i wake up and i go good morning my king above 18 mm -hmm. and then tom replies have you had your hot breakfast are you gonna study for your midterms like we are now in the king's world 
We're so yeah. enmeshed into it. We really like. You really are hydrating like a mania. Are you okay? That's like the third beverage you've finished. You, you did the blue drink. You had a purple straw drink. This is your third beverage. What are you drinking now? Water. Wow. You really are the, the hydration champ on this episode. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, I'm just pointing it out. You really are thirsty today. No, I, this is, I'm telling you, this is what I do all day. I love it. This is what I do all day. Good for you. 2021, couldn't get here fast enough. And my New Year's resolution is to eat healthier. And this year I'm doing that with Butcher Box. Butcher Box is the meat delivery subscription that gives me more time for what matters most. I don't have time to go to the grocery store. And I find that even when I shop at like fancier grocery stores that claim to have high quality meat, it's often not. I love Butcher Box because you get high quality, humanely sourced meat and it's delivered right to your door. It couldn't be more simple. All meat is free of antibiotics and added hormones. Each box has nine to 11 pounds of meat, enough for 24 individual meals. Packed fresh and shipped frozen and vacuum sealed so it stays that way. I can customize my box or go with one of theirs. Either way, I get exactly what I want. And right now, you can get two pounds of salmon absolutely free with your first box. Just go to butcherbox.com slash mom. That's butcherbox.com slash mom. Who doesn't love a fire? Is there anything more fun than sitting around a fire telling stories it feels like you're a human being again right like primitive man we sat around the fire and we talked about running away from coyotes or wolves or whatever it was that's why i love solo stove um it's such an easy product it comes to your door and you take out the stove and you put your wood in there and it burns so cleanly there's just a little bit of smoke you know when you sit by a regular fire and all of a sudden you're in the the range of the smoke and you're like this is terrible you're not going to feel that with solo stove it's stainless steel uh, designed to regulate airflow and burn more efficiently there's no campfire smell on your clothes or hair god knows that's the worst um, solo stove products are portable and built to last. It's really great if you have kids and you guys go camping or even if you want to camp in your own backyard. It's an easier way to build a fire. No one needs a reason to gather around the fire. Solo stove just took away any reason not to. And now you can get $10 off when you use promo code MOM at checkout. Just go to solostove.com and remember you get $10 off when you use promo code MOM. Okay, here's the king. <sighs> Man. Good evening, my kings and queens above 18. Oh. This video goes out to Christine from your mom's house. A lot of your followers would like you to order a shirt and wear a shirt and a hat and have a coffee mug on your show. Come on, Tim. Order some merchandise from me. Go to my web, kingsandqueensabove18 at gmail.com. Leave me what you want, what size of shirt, and how many. Then go to my Venmo and add. Shirts are $25 plus $10 <laughs> shipping and handling. The hats are $20 plus shipping and handling, $10. And the mugs are $20 plus $10 shipping and handling. They yeah. want to see Christine in one of them shirts. Yeah. You have a good day, my kings and queens above 18. I love you all. Yeah. It's just simple. All you got to do is go to his personal email. And I got to say, I just got to say, <laughs> as somebody in entertainment and also in a merchandising business, that's a wonderful marketing video. <laughs> that is like, that is top of the line. Like, if you want to promote something, <laughs> the way to do it is in your big rig. Loud. It's got to be the on. Engine, with the engine fucking wailing. Oh my god. Yeah. The sound was great. And then plus shipping and handling and the hats of that. And then Venmo me. Add me on Venmo. Send me the credit card info. Type in the at I mean it's just all the infos there. So much. Well, it's it is so uh the process is not easy for somebody because like first of all, you have to email him personally at gmail.com, whatever. And then specify what you want, the sizes, and then find him on Venmo, right? I don't have fucking Venmo. I got to set up a Venmo account. It's like, 
Bitch, I want the shirt, but you're making it a little hard. What, si what size shirt do you want? Type it in. <laughs> Type that. Let me know. I didn't get the memo. Just go ahead and give me your credit card info. Sure. So this talk is of the king. And what, what Tom and I, I think, both really enjoy about this is the POV style to it, where he's awesome. imagining. Imagine. So close your eyes if you're listening. Imagine that you're laying in bed you've just had a wild night of love making with the king and or, or just a great night's sleep you know just a great night's sleep and you're just opening your eyes and you see this good morning my queens above 18 come on open them eyes up i got your breakfast ready oh, jesus coffee's on breakfast is on come on you got to go to work there you go. Oh. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I just love my queens above 18. You are gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. I will see you downstairs. Oh, okay. Downstairs. And you get up and get yourself together and come on down. I love you, my queen above 18. Thank you. I got to imagine that we just made so many panties wet across the world. <laughs> I mean, look, I like that. I like that one better than the challenge videos in a way. Yeah. When he challenges. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's just... Ice water? Uh, yeah, sure. Sorry, guys. And then I got one of these. Got it? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Um, in, a, in a few. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's really nice of Sorry, her. That was, I, I think she definitely heard me say, hell yeah, a bunch of panties are wet. <laughs> they know you by now. You've been they saying wild do. shit all, all week, dude. They know what's up. Yeah. Um, but what I was saying is that I, I like that POV video because it shows a more tender side to the king. And mm -hmm. I like that he's he takes it a step further in the talk world. Like he's acting now. We get to see him at his best. When he's that play OG POV one, yeah. man, that had, I mean, you could go to the Tisch School of the Arts in New York. That's right. And they would be like, this is how you do it because he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he goes, good morning. And then he goes, what? <laughs> Wait, wait, do it, Tom. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. What? <laughs> you interrupted him. He's like, hey, uh, good morning. <laughs> Can you play that one? Yeah, it's on Tom's Instagram. That's the one. <laughs> wait, that, you put the original one of him doing that? It, so the one where I did an impression, if you swipe, it's his. It's, <laughs> and at the 13th seems... second mark, he goes, what? <laughs> It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's my, it's my yeah. favorite too, yeah. Yes, it's time to wake up. Uh -huh. Come on. Yes, you are my queen. What? <laughs> How did you sleep? That's so good. <laughs> that you one sleep good? is amazing. That's because her mouth good is bound in. My queen's above 18. <laughs> Don't you look so beautiful today? Yeah. Time to wake up. Get your feet on the ground. Take a shower. Get you a nice hot breakfast. Yeah, I got some coffee going for you. Oh, but you look beautiful. The king loves you. Well... Get up, and I'll meet you down the stairs. <laughs> you have yourself a wonderful day. Good morning. Oh my God! Yeah, but that you know, what he does it gets it's, me. Every it's the bet. Well, the reason she, he goes, "What? How did I sleep?" <laughs> yeah, it's because yeah. she's bound and gagged, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Like what?" <laughs> 
the reactions to that video. So many people were like, I've only listened to your podcast and this absolutely ruined this for me. <laughs> you have to watch it because they're like, <laughs> that's what a woman that's tied to a radiator seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I do like that better than the disingenuous pitch of like, hey, we're going to have some fun here. I want you to put a challenge. It's just a, a fun challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge. And I think what you and I were discussing this yesterday in the hotel that it bothers us. It's funny because it's like, it's not a direct thing. It's not, he's not saying what he really wants. Right, Tom? What that You're guy saying, needs to do yeah. is exactly this. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. There's nothing I like more than big fucking tits. <laughs> and I like when women show them to me, particularly in a t-shirt with no bra. If you're game and you want to show me your big old tits, yeah. why don't you send a message? And uh, I don't care what you do, if you want to dance or make it funny, <laughs> make it sexy. The whole point is I'm trying to get off here. Okay? Yeah. Don't Not under the guise of like, you know what I love? Uh, dance competitions, you know. Like you just, can you can you tap dance? Make me a video. Should, no, I like tits. That's what I the like guys tits. Say. And like the above eighteen, we look. We understand that you're saying it's above eighteen. That's not what makes it creepy. Even though eighteen year olds are still technically teenagers. So wait, to it him, is... they are they are nearly infants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking... <laughs> 18 year old is so young to him. It is, it is, it is, it's creepy because it, it, they're 18, like they're 19 or 10. I want, I want him to make, like, my, my wish is that he goes, Hey, I just scratched all that shit before. I just want to be direct with you. I'm trying to fuck. Yeah. And, and I, and my favorite thing are big tits. And I would really like you to send me some pictures of them. S and me your tits. It's, here's the thing. It's going to yield better better results. I agree. Uh, not this whole thing of, Dude, you got some breakfast. Open your eyes, sweetie. Like he pretending that he's your boyfriend and your husband. Is... <laughs> you getting? It's called the BFE, babe. The what? The BFE. <laughs> What's that? It's the boyfriend experience. That's what he's doing. <laughs> oh no! That's what this is. Yes, of course. Wait a minute. Explain more. I don't. I don't understand. He's playing the role of a boyfriend. He's that, that's what he's doing. Oh, and this is like a whole genre. And, and lane. then like, if you're a woman, you're watching this, you're like, God, I wish my boyfriend was like this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. And here's the thing. That's a perfect segue into another video of his. <laughs> I don't know if you have it queued up, but he would like to take somebody out on a date. Yeah. I mean, I this video the of your mom's oh. house. I watched a show. Thank you. I love the show. So when are you going to let me take you out? Let me show you a good time. Treat you like a queen with respect uh -oh. and have a good time. I would never disrespect you, my queen. Tom, yeah. you can trust me. I would never disrespect Christine 100%. in any way. 100%. You guys have a beautiful day. You know how to get a hold of me. Kings and queens above okay, 18 I know. at gmail.com. How about if you guys go on my webpage and order a shirt? I would love for you to wear a shirt, Christine. I would love that. <laughs> order a shirt and a hat. Kings and queens above 18, I love you all. You guys have a good day. Especially you, my queen. Oh, Christine, Thank you. the king loves you. Thank you, king. Is that a baby crying in the background? I thought I heard it. Here's the thing, King. I would love to take you up on this date offer. Why uh, don't you be more specific? I want to hear oh. what we're going to do on our date. Where will I think you that's, take the queen? I think that's reasonable. I yeah. also think just as a natural precaution, you might want to put it out till after the vaccines have been distributed. <laughs> uh, I guess they're so. on their way. I don't think I don't think you should go. Let's rush this date. And uh, and during this COVID surge, you that's know? true. Well, let's say this, and yeah, in a in a COVID free world, King. Let's say it's you know summer of twenty twenty one. Where will we go? Will you take me to the Olive Garden? I like the salad and and the. What if he's like, well, 
the day begins in my shed <laughs> and <laughs> I got a bunch of cool ropes and I want to show you what I can do with them. No, he's a gentleman. He won't do that. No, I know. No, I, but, I think actually, I'll tell you this. Yeah. I think the king would be very nice to have yeah. with. He'd be sweet. I think he would too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's a great actor. Do you think when you have a he role... He is a good actor. Do you think when you get a role in a movie that you will ask him for coaching? I actually think he would... I think he might be able to play natural. I think so, too. Like, like not act. I think he can do it. I think so, too. And that's a skill set. That's a skill set. So, Tom, I ask the audience to submit their AMA, Ask Mommies Anything questions. Are you up for answering a few of these? Yeah, I'll do a couple before I split, yeah. Yeah, let's just do a couple, and then if you're up for it, some talks, too? Sure, go ahead. Okay, I'm excited. Um, the first question is, how did you two find out you were so collectively fucked up? Crazy I man. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, when we saw Grizzly Man in theater, and um, <laughs> in the theater we saw it, and there was a, I, we've told the story before, but the guy, what is his name? Timothy the, Treadwell. Treadwell. Werner he Herzog. Visit, yeah, well, Werner Herzog made the documentary. When Treadwell would go, he'd get dropped off in Alaska to live with bears for like seasons, like an yeah. entire season, and he got to know the bear so it's, it's a fantastic documentary but there's this one scene where they the, timothy's already dead obviously when they make it and they're playing all this footage and they talk to a helicopter pilot i think yeah who said um he's like yeah he, he asked me to drop him off in this reserve that is just full of bears <laughs> and we're in the theater it's it's a you know there's a serious tone to the documentary and the guy goes I mean, I told him, I go, well, that's just, that's bear country. And he's like, yeah, that's where I want you to drop me off. And the guy goes, I mean, I thought he was retarded. <laughs> and you and I laughed so hard yeah, yeah. together and yeah. nobody else in the theater was laughing. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I was like. She's yeah. a special person. Special lady. Yeah. yeah. And I, weren't we, didn't we go see that movie, something like Blue Water, and it was like shark attack where people yeah. die? And I think yeah. you and I were laughing out loud at that one too, and people were getting eaten. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. When we started to laugh at like the same wrong stuff, I was like, this is what you look for in a partner. For sure. For sure. I think Tom and I have a real shared love of stuff that sucks. Like we, we, we acknowledge what sucks similarly, if that makes sense. Similarly. Similarly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, how about this one? What was the biggest obstacle or hardest time in YMH's lifetime? I think we're kind of in it now. This is definitely one of the... This is one of them. I mean, I'll There's tell you, it was hard. Lot. When Red Band was producing the show for us to take it over yourself, it's, it's a little overwhelming because I realized that like I felt like the tech was on me and I didn't have that background. So I was like, I hope we can pull this off. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I'd buy the soundboard and Mike do the recordings and all. And I was like, uh, you know, that felt like an obstacle. And every time we've moved, you always feel that kind of weight as well. That was tough. I think one of the harder times for me performing on the show during hard times, um, you know, like my mom died in 2015. Yeah. And that that's hard, too, when like you have personal stuff going on, yeah. much like, like you you right now my dad, when my dad got sick yeah that was that was tough yeah uh, we didn't even talk about that on the show um but that that was definitely tough and um and then like career wise it was really tough to every time we do something outside of that like you know i'm going on tour to europe or i'm yeah i'm shooting a movie in atlanta you start to go like like you start pre-planning like all the the book show like the you know banked episodes that's always a struggle too. Yeah. But we've always made this show a priority. That's we, true. Yeah. We have, I mean, barring like medical, I mean, even look in the midst of a medical drama, we still found a way to do the show. Yeah. It's always been a priority. I remember one time I was working on a TBS show and I had to live in a hotel for like a month and a half and you brought the soundboard over to our hotel room 
and we recorded YMH from my hotel room and I was working 12 hour days on the show and we would still find time to do YMH. The show's always yeah. been our priority. Yeah. We've never done the thing where you go, well, like we're going to do this thing for a few weeks. We used to do the show. When we get back. No, never, <laughs> never. We've always covered our asses on, on the show front and been consistent. Definitely. Um, Christina, when will you eat Tom's scrum? I mean, this teaches you that life is so fragile. This doesn't make you want to do it as soon as you get out of here. Yeah. Well, this is an interesting one. Please explain the genes. Mm. I mean, the genes is everything, right? Do we have that yeah. clip from, yeah, let's, let's show it's this. sort of like asking what's the purpose of life right yeah we actually have a sizzle package uh, oh. to explain it entirely what is the force is that that's like what you're asking yeah yeah gene <laughs> gene i need something explained to me what's that what's with the jeans <laughs> pull your jeans up oh and jeans what's up gene what's that gene baby jeans big jeans are happening jeans up jeans is what the show is based on jeans is like the premise of star wars it's the force when we're living in an apartment it's like you're leaving for the day i'd be like i'm leaving i'll be back later mommy that evolved <laughs> into mommy jeans and then that evolved into dropping mommy and just saying jeans jeans Jeans. How tight are your jeans? And yeah. then it became like, <laughs> do you live a high and tight lifestyle? <laughs> <laughs> so we started to say basically that that person's got it going on. Like that that guy is living life the right way. When you do something <laughs> stupid or embarrassing, yeah. it's because your jeans are low and loose. <laughs> is there any medical risk to wearing your jeans too high and tight? <laughs> so yeah. excited. Keeping them high and tight. I keep them high and tight. <laughs> to keep your jeans high and tight. Can I get a grande iced coffee, high and tight with soy milk, unsweetened, please. Thanks, jeans. <laughs> Great, thanks, jeans. We are in Studio Jean. Yeah, right over there. Studio Jean. 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 <laughs> Studio Jean. Yeah. 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 Studio Jean. <laughs> yeah. Do you even wear denim anymore? That was awesome. That was great. I'm just during that right there. Another one. Oh my god. Piss spots episode two. That was I mean, a, that's a lot I'm, of piss, Tom. What if that piss spots guy reaches out? He's like, "This is my fucking." <laughs> Tom, I actually think that the camera missed it. Can you show us again what you well, just sure. did during that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so proud of himself. <laughs> wow, good job, buddy. Thanks. We got it. It's very light colored. That means yeah, you're I mean, hydrating yeah. a lot. Yeah. Can Again, I show you man. some talks? I would love to before. Yeah, let, let's jump to talks. I want to see some talks. Yeah? You okay? Yeah. You good? Yeah, okay. yeah. I want to see some, though. I, I miss the talks. The talks I know. Talks you, sent me, you sent me a personal <laughs> batch the other day. That you had a couple that had me in tears. Good. Talks are life, you guys. Okay, yeah. this one, I have to say, really captured my heart and my imagination. Go ahead and just let it roll. Hello, my name is Stephen Shelton. I enjoy getting along with people. My cell phone number is Eric Thank you very much. Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you out of your fucking mind? <gasps> this guy's so out of his mind to put his phone number on, on the web. I mean, he we blurred it out, but that, that TikTok is a <laughs> meet people app. Like, Tell me about your, I, I, I enjoy getting along with people. Here's my phone number. <laughs> That's absurd. That, that, that is fantastic. <sighs> you can tell you the thing. You can tell he's a sweet guy. He's a sweet guy. He, you can totally tell that guy's a sweet guy. He has no idea what TikTok <laughs> is for. And he literally was like, I, I like people. Here's my phone number. There's no way. That dude's phone number even works anymore. No, it's I mean, destroyed. That, yeah. I mean, I took mercy on him and I did not put it in my my stories on the yeah. gram just because. And right there, you, you just edited it too, right there. I, I noticed that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. didn't want to, I mean, I wanted to protect that individual. I felt so bad for him. Yeah. I well, mean, that is. Me, it's, <laughs> he, he needed protection the day he posted it. That's over now. Over. Yeah. It's over. I yeah. mean, look, if you're putting your phone number on the web, 
you've got some some screws loose, right? I mean, our PC doing his He's super fucked twenty three ninety five apartment two C Wagner houses. I mean, that was like that show, and he was like, "Come over here and beat the shit out of me." <laughs> <laughs> he did that for years, years, bro. Crazy, but apparently it's no biggie because that guy's been putting his address out, Robert Paul Champagne, for years, and piss yeah. on me, beat me, and and he's been fine. So, gosh, I don't know. Okay, which one's this one? This one's for you, Tom. A sus camionetas echando la culpa a los verga. Y esos que quedaron heridos que se mueran a la verga, ojalá primeramente Dios y la santita. Lo vamos a buscar y lo vamos a rematar a los perros de mierda. Agarle, güey, aquí. Las clonadas, dice. Pues de su puta madre. Más para que miren el power de las cuatro letras. Al... Vamos a matar a la verga, los perros correlones, hijos de su puta madre. ¿Qué está diciendo? He said we're going to find these people and fuck them up. Whoever did this, like, I don't know what they did in the, like, he's not really showing, but he keeps saying we're going to find these sons of bitches, these dog pieces of shit. We're going to rip them oh. apart. We're going to fuck them up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a <clears throat> cartel talk. Yeah. yeah, good. Sure felt like it. Yeah, I've been finding these drug cartel talks lately. It's a whole new lane for me. It's been yeah. pretty wild. And I I hope I ask you to translate a lot of them because I don't understand what's going on. Uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, okay. So a lot of, huge burgeoning of TikTok lane is in the prison talk world. I mean, I have added so many new prison talk accounts and I'm sure the authorities are not happy about this because the prisoners are not supposed to be making talks. Yeah. And most of them, frankly, are kind of boring. I don't think these guys know yet what a good talk is. So when you find a good one, it's pretty rare. So go ahead. This is how you customize your prison gear. Hey, look, you got to let them check it out. You got to let them check it out. You got Who made that? <laughs> the night was good. Yeah, the good. The eyes were good. Yeah, the eyes were good. They ain't like So this gentleman, it looks like he's incorporated white and khaki into his uniform, which is that's kinda... dope. I mean, he's got style. That's yeah. that's expressing yourself. That's flavor. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He uh, sounds like he got a little white folks in him too. The way he's talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty creative. Um, it's good that when a thug can sew. I kudos, man. Here's another prison talk. This gentleman's rigged up his whole kitchen system here. <laughs> He's boiling his coffee in his toilet. Unreal. Isn't that amazing? Uh, uh, it's unreal when they do this shit, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, human beings are, like, even, I'll tell you, like, even myself in the last two weeks, you find how adaptable you are. Oh, like, yeah. To, to, like, do things and, you know, like, the way that you, you know, I've figured out a way that I need to sit up and stand and how I need to do just a any number of things. And you realize that, like, these guys are in a, Confined space, limited resources, and you just find a way. It's oh, wild. yeah. He had a bag of Folgers boiling. It looked like his sink on his toilet. He took the trash bin, put the water in that, put the Folgers bag in, and then somehow got a wire. To, can you show it again? I'm curious to see the apparatus. How did he, how does he not electrocute himself? And then there it is. It's in the sink. And then there's some kind of wire going up to the light fixture. And that's the electrical source. I mean, it's just so crazy. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That was a good one. And he's making ramen later, too. I see the ramen noodles down there. Well, I'm so glad we got to watch some talks together. I feel like... That was great. I feel like the family's all together again. <laughs> yeah. All Can't right. wait to get back there. I know. We miss you so much, Jeans. And I'm just so happy to see you, even if it's just on Zoom. And uh, I hope you have a, have, you have a great day. Have your breakfast. Do great on your midterms. And stay well, my king above 18. Thank you. It was, it was fun to do this with you guys. Hope you guys are well. Uh, thank everybody for, I got literally, you know, thousands of messages um, of pe from people wishing me well. So I appreciate that from all the fans that listen and support. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon. You're gorgeous. Bye, -bye. Bye Gene. Bye guys. See you later, Tom. See you, buddy.
Dudes, listen up. Did you know that 66% of men start losing their hair by age 35? And once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late. Is that hairline slowly starting to move backwards? Uh Uh-oh, do you have bald spots yet? You know, poor Tommy, he has the same problem. And I really wish we had him back then because it really is uh, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skincare, sexual wellness for men, for hims.com. Hims is helping guys be the best version of themselves with licensed medical providers and FDA approved products to help treat hair loss. No snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements, prescription solutions backed by science. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. I think this is just such a fantastic thing, guys. I know you guys are you know, not supposed to talk about this stuff, but just take care of yourself. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to forhims.com slash mom. That's forhims.com slash mom. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Remember, that's forhims.com slash mom. Oh, that was so good to talk to Tommy, wasn't it? It feels like we're all together again, even though he's in his little rehab hotel and pissing in jugs as he's talking to us. It's nice to see him and how proficient he was. I didn't even know that he was pissing and talking to us did you notice that Zola? i did not no <laughs> he, he was really able to keep it on the dl i know yeah. this is baby josh zolo i'm sure you guys know who he is but not you are you like you're 21 now which is amazing I'm 21 yeah you're so cute what year were you born 1999 wild that's so funny oh mm-hmm. my god <laughs> anyways i'm glad you're here <laughs> it's just great like i was a fully formed person i want to Talk about my Pajitsky effect. The wonderful Rob Eiler coined that the Pajitsky effect where you realize you're doing something wrong or just neglected to do something for so many years. And then you are like, oh, my God, I can do this like a regular person. I talk about these on where my mom's at a lot. So, OK, I, I like everybody in the winter time, my legs get very dry and very ashy. Mm-hmm. Like I get like leg dandruff. I'm so gross. Like I'll get out of the shower. I'll barely wipe myself down as you guys know. But the other day I got out of the shower and I was like, oh my God, I can put lotion on my skin yes. so that my, oh my, God. my legs don't get white and flaky. Mm-hmm. And it was like, like I fucking, I can't believe it took 44 years for me to realize I can put lotion on my legs, not just on my face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's so stupid and like i know girls do that so yeah yeah, yeah. i i had a similar one you said You're face kidding i i often neglect skincare yeah and um recently i just kind of discovered like facial moisturizer like yeah. i'd realize especially like this time of year yeah. get out of the shower and my face would be super dry and like kind of painful yeah and I'm like, oh, I could just put like a little, little, <laughs> little bit of that on there, no. and we're all set. Yeah, uh, life changing, life changing, and especially with boys, I feel as though nobody educates boys on, hey, wash your face. Like, did, did anyone tell you that that there are products for facial cleansing? Not really. I mean, I yeah. think like we're all kind of ashamed of it a little bit. Why is that? It's it's gay. Yeah, you're like oh, it's so yeah. clear that you're. It's 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 gay to wash your face. Oh, yeah. And these guys that are using, like, face masks and stuff. That, oh, that's gay God. as fuck. Don't I agree with that. Don't even <laughs> get me started. Can, I don't like it either. And can I tell you, it annoys me as a woman where I get on the gram and then I see these girls, like, I'm wearing a face mask. I'm so ugly right now. <laughs> and you're like, no, you're not. You're just wearing a face mask. Fucking relax. Yeah. You know? It's an, it's obnoxious. It really is. Yeah. I don't know why people like to capture it so much. I don't like, know I feel either. like everyone feels like, okay, I got my face mask on. I need to do an Instagram <laughs> post with it. No. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it either. But I do agree with you that a man doing a face mask, especially if it's like a colored one, like a green or a blue, it's queer as fuck. And I'm not, I'm not having it. Yeah. Yeah. Like if Tom started to do that, I would seriously question if he was yeah. blowing guys in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, what about you, Nadav? You mentioned you had a Pajitsky effect. 
Yeah, I realized when you asked me what I did this week, and I was like, oh, you know, I just kind of like passed out and didn't, like I did absolutely nothing, put out yeah. some fires over here. But then I realized I had a Pajitsky effect. Oh. Um, whenever something in my apartment breaks that's bigger <laughs> than can fit in a trash can, <laughs> I'm optimistic that I'll be able to fix it later. Okay. So I just set it aside and I put it somewhere. And then uh, I've accumulated <laughs> now like, one like one or two gaming chairs like uh, a gaming uh, chair what's that uh it's just a, it's just a chair that looks like it belongs in a race car but it's real <laughs> it's real stupid but it, like I, I broke it like i mean I, I got the cheapest one i could get and it broke immediately and i'm like no, no 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 it just needs new wheels or something i'll just put it aside till i get new wheels and then you you never go back to doing and it. i accumulate like yeah. a couple of those different things like i have a broken imac that's been <laughs> broken for three weeks like three years yeah. just on my desk yeah so this week i was just like wait a second yeah i could just throw this shit out I know. And Christina, I have so much room in my apartment. Because you threw shit out. Because <laughs> I threw out things that are broken that I'll never use again. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's what, that's what having space is. Like, I was literally to get to my kitchen, Christina. Yeah. I'd have to like high step over something. Oh, you were, to you get were to it. getting into like no, yeah, 40. Yeah. And I was getting into yeah. 40 territory, but now I'm just like, oh yeah, I could just throw out shit. I don't. Cause I think that is a level of hoarding when you have to make pathways, they call it, or where you have to, um, walk do walk around certain objects that that is considered man i feel like i'm giving away way too much <laughs> shit this episode we need to cut out so much shit about me <laughs> no we're not this was a fantastic episode I was like, oh yeah here's a great idea Born it up. <laughs> um yeah because tom made me realize that i can throw things away as well my mother trained me to hold on to everything growing up same here yeah i, I really struggle with that <laughs> yeah, it, it's so hard. I have so much useless shit that's broken or there's just no reason to keep. Yeah. But like, I'll just put it in the closet or something. Like Throw it away. It, yeah. Donate it, rather. It, Donate it, it. It's hard for me. Dude, know. the worst incident is when my I grew up on a couch about this size, one of the couches we had, and it was different colored patches of velour. It was like a very late 70s, mm -hmm. 80s couch. And my mother, it was like her pride and joy, and she would cover it with a sheet. You had, in the summertime, actually, always, I never actually sat on the fabric, right? You have to cover everything. You save it. You, and she would tell me, I'm saving it for when you go to college. Yeah. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. And I never laid on furniture. And I would lay on the sheets all the time. And then by the time I went to college, she kept the couch in the garage. And the garage flooded. And it uh. ruined the couch. And I remember at the time being like, yeah, bitch, you can't keep a couch for like 25 years. And pa you don't do that with furniture anymore. Maybe back in the olden days, you know, you had yeah. stuff handmade and you could pass things down. But yeah. not now. Not because your... what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're using the couch for that whole time. Why is it covered? Because you're going to use <laughs> it in the future? You're using it now. Use it. Just use it now. But here's yeah. the sad part is that when I started dating Tom, mm -hmm. I would cover my couch. Yeah. with I covered it with blankets, not with sheets. And he'd come over and he's like, why is this covered in blankets? I'm like, because you have to save your couch <laughs> for another day. And he's like, no, dude, you can just use the couch. So yeah. I thank Tom for showing me how to live like a human being and not like a goat. Yeah, that's an important life lesson. I use know. your couch. Just fucking use all of your stuff. All your stuff. <laughs> Who cares? If it gets fucked up, buy a new one. I know. Just buy a new one. Yeah. Are like shoes, nice shoes or nice things that I own. I'm like, I can't wear today like well yeah you can because when are you gonna fucking wear it yeah you may as well just do it totally all right let's do some more talks i've got so many in the bank and zolo thankful i'm so thankful to you because you're the one that gets all these videos and you yeah. see everything oh there's so many goodies i love it okay let's get to it open up the barn door kick out the hay we the girls from the usa who do you hear? Everybody have a happy thanks. Open up the barn door, kick out the with the girls from USA. Why are you shaking your head, no dog? Dude, what the fuck is <laughs> this? <laughs> what, did, did song you get are, what song are we learning? Well, what song is he teaching? I, I remember this as a little kid. Open the barnyard, kick out the hay. You used to sing this on the schoolyard. That must be this what they did at C school. We did not do this at J school. At C school. Oh, Catholic school. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's a nice rhyme. You don't like music. You don't like joy. I could do without music <laughs> for the rest of my life. I'm all right with it. 
Have you heard this song before, Zolo? I haven't. I <laughs> think it might be a little before my time, or maybe it's uh, what Nadav's alluding to, too, um, <laughs> also of uh, the Jewish faith. Oh, Jews yeah. don't sing. Annie, you've heard that song before. You grew up in so SoCal. Nah, we, we didn't sing that either. We sang the <laughs> we sang the Star Spangled Banner, though. I said it a lot different than people say it now. What do you say? I mean, do they even say it now? I used to do the, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. A to the a. republic for which it stands. Yeah, we used to do the whole thing. I like that. At school, you did it like that, all fun? Yeah, I mean, you know, because we didn't want to, so they needed to find a way to make it fun, so we would do it and... You know, that is so the, cool. I don't <laughs> think they make kids do the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my God. I've been saying it, Pledge Allegiance, my whole life. Until Holy right now. shit. Pledge so Allegiance. It's Pledge of Allegiance. No, mm -hmm. no, but I don't think you've never... Wait. Hold pledge Allegiance. You say, I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag. Michael the Jackson flag. is a fag. <laughs> Pepsi Cola burned him up. Now he's drinking 7-Up. <laughs> yeah, that, Have that's, you heard that's, that one? There you go. A, that's not the J School version. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that one? No, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> How about another TikTok? <laughs> Psst, Skylar. Um, do you know your donor? Like, it's your friend or something? How does this happen? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh. So, that's really misleading. I know the name is. Um, I actually didn't know my donor beforehand. Um, he and I met through a donor and recipient website, um, and we matched. Um, he works exclusively with LGBTQ families, and obviously that is very important to me as somebody who is in a same-sex relationship and also is transgender. Whoa. Um, so we got to know each other and like set our boundaries, and I got to know all about his history, and it matched really perfect with what I want. Um, so that's kind of what a known donor is, and while... I know who my donor is. It's not a secret. Um, he Ugh, will not be on the birth certificate. I'm exhausted. He's not the father I, of my child. It's still my child. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what a known donor is. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Oh my god! I mean, they're my least favorite TikToker. Yeah, I know. I hate them. Yeah. It, and it's it's not the content. Sure. It, it's more about the turn like the the way in which they presented it it's so condescending well, like, i love how fired up you are right now it, it, this one really gets to me but yeah. I, i'm so glad you asked yeah. like and it's like no you're not like why are you doing this yeah it, it, i agree it has a tone of arrogance like yeah. thank you for asking well let me tell you my whole fucking bullshit like mm, okay yeah. yeah it's it's a very yeah it is it, condescending it, in, in it's town pretty cunty yeah, cunty is the good yeah. word i agree and also too i think they love to throw terms around so that you feel kind of stupid. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, for instance, she's, they, sorry, they say, I'm in a same sex relationship and I'm also transgender. Like, wait a minute, dude. You're, yeah. okay, hold on. Like, I'm fucking thoroughly confused. Well, you gotta go back into her catalog to their catalog, their catalog and to then, get the whole backstory on <laughs> how all that, because they cover it in they all do. of, and yeah, you go way back. They answer all your they, questions. <laughs> I think this person, it's just, it's like annoying. It's just like one of those people that remember when like, yeah, it's like anybody that starts a new diet or like ve or veganism and then they have to tell you every, mm -hmm. every area and quadrant of their thing. She's yeah. annoying. Yeah. I, I hate it. Fucking fuck her. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Next one. Them. Them. Sorry. They. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, so this is a whole new um, lane of TikTok. Crack people, people in crack. Oh, that's crack. Yeah. I thought it was alcohol. Oh, could be. I don't know. I thought sure. you were just really drunk. Could be. Absolutely. Gotcha. Uh, but I just thought that was a nice little cautionary tale. You know what? Yeah, she looks a little too loosey-goosey to be on the meth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys are right here. That was oh. pretty rad. But I see you do have a whole bunch of ones in that theme coming up right Cool. Here. <laughs> Let's see. As I'm with some police officers, it's pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, they think that I'm, I'm quote unquote, um, under the influence because <laughs> I'm just bold. I just know what to say. I uh, don't care. So, yes, fuck police officers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just bold. <laughs> She's the coolest. She's the best, dude. Yeah.
So this girl actually <laughs> is a carbon copy of Emmy. What? This is what? Emmy's attitude towards everything. He's like, fuck you, I'm not fucked. This is just what I'm like, dog. <laughs> wow, that's a wild... You don't see yourself in her at all? I mean, I did think she was hot, so I guess... <laughs> <laughs> that is a bold claim. <laughs> And Chris agrees, and we all know that he's the company. You're saying that she has any vibes? Yeah. But I don't think he's confrontational. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. I don't think any would be as, like, forthright with no it. No I think he would be more like, well, fuck you, so, and keep it to himself. So now that you hear the comparison, yeah. maybe let's watch it again and see sure, if you sure, can sure. any in it. As I'm with some police officers, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty cool. cool. Um, Yeah, no, they think that I'm, I'm quote, unquote, um, under the influence because I'm just bold. I just know what to say. <laughs> I uh, don't care. So, yes, fuck police officers. No, and he's not that crazy. I'm just bold. That he's, doesn't sound like any to you. No, but any has got confidence. <laughs> this chick is delusional. I'm starting to see it more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could see any on his stories doing this. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I do have a video on my Instagram when the dude was trying to pull me over that I stole my own motorcycle. I guess I do have oh, basically yeah. the same video. I wasn't flipping him off, but I was being a jackass. Do so. you have the video? Yeah, can we see it? it? You can You can see it. It's kind of hard to hear, but it's it's on my Instagram. Let's go get it. it. Let's see Annie being a fucking crystal meth addict. <laughs> but she's, she's wilding out because she's, she's high as fuck. She's yeah. confronting. Yeah. I think she is under the influence. She's like, I think, what? I think they're <laughs> right there. This whole thing, when people do like the hand flip to what? Mm -hmm. And what? Yeah. Like that is so crazy talk. Yeah. Let's see what he is. That's Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It auto corrects. Hold on. I know what I'm doing here, guys. Oh, God. Nadab is Googling, looking for <laughs> shit. How does okay, it go? So we're Hurry up and find that shit. You, you fucking, fucking Jew. Jew. I think it might be this one right here. No way. So wait, set this up again, Any. Hold on. What happened uh, here? So basically, I was uh, I was riding my motorcycle in sandals. And so <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> because why the fuck not? So and I a sure. tank so, Yeah, because whatever. I know I'm not going to crash. It's not a big deal. So I, I went to, I parked in a Target. And uh, uh, they stop me in the parking spot, and, and the, the dude comes out. He's like, hey, it's a little weird that you're wearing sandals on a bike. That's, that's a little unsafe. And I was just like, yeah, man, I mean, I ride all the time. It's not a big deal. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's just a little odd, you know, that your, uh, your helmet doesn't match your bike either, huh? Hmm. That's weird. You think I could see some ID? And then it just it went down from there because I was like, no, you can't. Why? I was, I was doing one of those. Because, I mean, to be fair, he had no reason. He, yeah, was, no he was trying to say that I was stealing my own motorcycle, oh boy. so I kind of took it as a joke. And who you was, can't really hear what, what I say, but... But the vi the vibes. And who was, the vibe. who was recording this? This is a, a, a girl that... Um, her name's Jenna. <laughs> and, uh, she's a friend. She's a, she's, a, she's a friend now. All right, let's but see. But she was a random girl at, at the time. She was just oh, got out of her car. Look at these arms. But yeah, the arms yeah. are upset. He's upset. But there's no audio. We can't hear. You can hear it. It's, it's a little difficult to hear what I'm saying. Oh. I guess. Listen, this is my bike. I didn't steal it. I'm gonna go to Target. That's a great thing. Yeah. Oh, poor Annie. He said, he said, uh, he said, uh, like I just explained to you, because uh, I said I'm gonna go into Target, and that's when she started recording. Good. And so he said, uh, hey, hey, man, I don't know, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, about um, feeling like you're targeted. I I'm not doing. I'm like, whoa, 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 I didn't say nothing about. It. I said I'm going to Target. Oh. And I was like, and I didn't steal this bike. This is my bike, so I'm gonna go into Target now. Is that cool? And he was like, Oh yeah, ha have a nice day. No. And so I <laughs> did, but it's he started out a lot more uh, aggressive than that. But yeah. as soon as the camera flipped, he was just like, Oh, Good. Mr. Nice Guy. Well, I'm glad the camera was there to change his fucking tone with you. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't a, a, a big deal. I think. I acted the way she acted as soon as I had a camera on because then I knew this was all being recorded. So you were safe. I, yeah. I, yeah, I had I had a sense of safety before before that. Yeah, it was like, I, I mean, what if they shoot me and no one sees? You know what I mean? Oh, but my gosh. As yeah. soon as that, as soon as that camera went on. Yeah, I was just like, her. That's, that's fair. That's fair. No, I, she was really confrontational, <laughs> though. <laughs> I don't think that was equivalent. But uh, oh, there's my king again. <laughs> all right. Well, Annie, I'm glad you didn't get arrested. And I'm glad that you got someone to to video it for you 
That's a good safeguard. My gosh. All right, a couple more talks yeah, and then we'll go have lunch. <laughs> Say, I got a question to ask you. Okay. How do you think I'd be as a stand-up comedian? Oh, boy. You think I could make it? What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. He's got the I presence. Yeah, he's got the material. <laughs> he's got... <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Oh, 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 what the fuck is that another cartel talk it's definitely a latin american talk shit goes wild in latin america dude yeah. so I for mean... those of you just listening there's a truck <laughs> in the ocean i think <laughs> and they're getting it out I'm telling you, some of these talks that I've been curating now, I wonder if I should just hand them to the police because there's a lot of shit. Like, there are, like, cockfights that I've found. I saw you post that. Yeah. Like, That's disturbing. Really disturbing. And there's there was one <laughs> I saw where they even showed them putting, like, the, the nails into the chickens. I'm like, oh, I can't even post that. There was one you sent me that <laughs> I didn't prep for the show. Maybe it'll be on a future live but I think it was the aftermath of a prison stabbing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, like yep. a, a CO got stabbed yeah, and yeah. one of the like inmates was like, oh, let me put this on the talk. <laughs> yes, like, I remember Jesus that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was a recent one. Yeah, it was really Yeah, cool. these prison talks are getting way worse, man. They're getting dark. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, we'll say that for the live show. Okay. This guy's interesting. Good morning, TikTok. How you all doing? Yeah, right. Give me some hand. How you get how you get over a breakup? You know, <laughs> I just keep going back, back, back. I know I gotta get away from her, but can't do it. Gotta keep going back, but I gotta try to, to lead her. Yeah, you guys have any advice for him? How to get over a breakup? That's the only thing I heard. Everything else was I'm not <laughs> okay. sure what language that was in. Okay. 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 How does your how does your face I understand that age is unkind. But how does your face morph into a Muppet? <laughs> like he literally, you remember how the Muppets have like just a slit and then you're like, wah, wah, wah. It's wild. Oh, it's the lack of teeth. Yeah, I was going to say, I think oh. that has something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. When you're all gums, it becomes kind of just like a slit. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah, gums and then the nose is from alcoholism, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. How's the nose from alcoholism? Your nose gets bigger and redder. Yeah, you get yeah. red, ruddy, Ooh, and big, bloated. Puffy, looking. drunk nose. Yeah. You got a big old J nose if you drink too much. All right, yeah. on to the next time. Yeah. <laughs> if you do anything that you're about to see, you might be a meth head. <laughs> Window watching. Five hours later, still looking at the peephole. Looking for a piece of rock that you dropped two weeks ago. Sunglasses inside. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a headlamp 24-7. Hey, dude. Dude, it's that car. Remember the white Tahoe? It's outside, dude. I told you it's outside, dude. You talking about the one we seen at home in Mississippi? Dude, we're in Florida. Yeah, I just thought that was informative. I mean, doing math sounds terrible. Very informative, and I see a lot of parallels between our friend Conald and this yeah. guy. He even pointed out the white chariot. Did yeah, you notice that? Yeah, that's right. You're right. The cars mm -hmm. being that and the paranoia. Yep. But the cars specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but doing math just to, looks horrible. Like, what's the party in it? Have you guys... No, we haven't done that. <laughs> We've discussed this before. Okay, this one I thought was really neat, too. Hey guys, here's the snow globe content I promised you. Um, this is my wife's snow globe. She <laughs> made it in uh, honor of her. Her Uncle John, he's a police officer. So yeah, yeah if you're a Blue Lives Matter supporter, he, he, this is the snow globe for you. I made an Anna Lego one. I found this shark <laughs> dude at a dollar store. It's really uh, a... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the Cuckoo Puffs bird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah these yeah. were some that were already made before i started filming uh, sorry about that i didn't film the making of them no. but why didn't you yeah. film the making of it redneck snow globe god damn it everyone wants to see the making of the snow globe yeah is it just me or does he sound like out of breath 
Like, <laughs> where did he just run from? I know. He's like, here's the snow globe. Yeah. I think he's just fat. He's just fat. He sounds fat. Fat people sometimes have fat voices. You can mm-hmm. tell just by listening. And you know? also a cool detail. Blue Lives Matter snow globe. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. He oh, that, said that. That's what it was. He's like, <laughs> little cops in here if you're a Blue Lives Matter supporter. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really know your clientele. <laughs> That's so rad. Uh, I, I have to say, though, I thought at first these were jars full of urine. <laughs> and then he just put toys in them. I, because they don't look like snow globes at They really all. don't. They just look like filthy jars full of toys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they are. <laughs> that is what they are. And some glitter mixed in. Yeah, he's got to put this. Glitter. He's got to put this on Etsy. He can make a killing. <laughs> I swear, I would buy these from him just to bring, you know, give him some income. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, next one. Very nice. Yeah. So somebody hit my car, and they wrote, "I'm sorry for hitting your car. It was an accident. I don't have money or insurance, but here is snacks. So we." They left me some Ritz bits and some Cheetos. <laughs> Those are Let's hot see Cheetos. The hit. Oh, there you go. Bag of hot Cheetos and some Ritz. <laughs> Does that cover that, you think, you guys? Probably not. No. But still a nice gesture. <laughs> Better than just driving <laughs> off. Like, at least you got something out well, of it. Well, why even write the note? And that saw we with W's and the, it's, yeah. it's even more insulting than just not doing anything. Mm-hmm. What a cunt. I, I feel like it's. Pretty cunty. Yeah, it's a shitbird move. Just fucking do nothing. Really? You Is that better? Bitch. Yeah, than being like sawy and then putting the, s- the obnoxious. The sawy part is bad. Snacks. Like I, I, I get that. Yeah, just leave the snacks. You don't need like the the cunty note. I guess. Yeah. Or right, go ahead and leave them a picture of your boobs. Be that, nicer. That do the challenge. Too. Okay. What was this one now? Oh, this one's... This guy's fucking rad. This is another drug one. It's a meth one. Hey, what the nah. fuck are you doing? Nah. What the fuck are you doing? You're so gangster. Go there. <laughs> uh, I love that one, too. Yeah. What, that what, is what, the you scariest do talk you have ever Sure. <laughs> she doesn't seem scared at all. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> like, I would be shitting myself if that guy came up to me like that. I know, you're so right. Like, she's like, oh, Jim, you and your shenanigans again. Play it again. You're right, because she's way too calm. Hey, what the nah. fuck are you doing? Nah. What the fuck are you doing? You're so gangster. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Go it, over there. <laughs> it sounds like an annoyed big sister talking to her little brother. Like, Go over there. What are you doing? Yeah. But it's a terrifying, like, fully tattooed man. It's got to be her dad or her uncle. Or, yeah, you're right. There's a family There's thing There's some there. familial yeah. shit going down. Yeah, because that, that's it. That is how you talk to someone here. Like, oh, God, he's high again. God damn it, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking shit up. He's throwing things. What kind of store are they in? I feel like it's a medical supply or something <laughs> weird. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, no. I don't know. What, what is like that? A an outdoor, store? like, flea market or something? Yeah. Also, if you were wondering what family they're a part of, I think <laughs> Amelia Flores. Uh, hey, there you go. Yes, hey. yeah. He's probably talking to Margarita right now. <laughs> hey, is that Miss 13, homie? 13th Street? Orale, Holmes. This is my blood bag. <laughs> I wear it as an accessory. It is not a real blood bag. Mm, okay. Please do not think that it is. Well, it's not the whole point of wearing a blood bag. Yeah. Just to, so people think you're cool yeah. and you're wearing blood around your neck, dummy. Yeah, you could wear something else, maybe. Yeah. Like, if you're going to do it, do it. Do it. I, I say collect your menstrual blood and put it in your blood bag. Mm-hmm. Why not yeah. just do real blood? Yeah, I know. Any, would you date a girl that had a blood bag around her neck and be honest? Be honest as though be I honest. would say yes to this? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no. Because something about... A girl crazy enough to wear a blood bag around her neck. I feel like you of all people would be intrigued and be like, that chick's wild. <laughs> like that chick's going to do crazy shit. I see where you're going with yeah. it, but uh, I, I stop at the gross stuff though. And I, I don't oh. know where you got that blood. I don't know where to came But it, But it's from. fake it's blood. It's fake blood. <laughs> yeah, but but then that means you fake and, and boring. Fake people are lame. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at, like like Zolo said, at least if you're gonna do it, do it. You know, I'm, yeah. I still ain't, I ain't into that, but you know, you wouldn't. Okay, do it, do it. okay, but she's your dream girl. She's like wife material, and she's like, listen, I love you. I b- I blow you like five times a day. I do all the shit you want sexually, but I have to wear this blood bag around my neck when I meet your mom. 
Easy peasy. <laughs> I would wear the blood bag. I'd wear <laughs> another blood bag with her. We could we could wear matching ones. No problem. <laughs> if she's the best, yeah. <laughs> so that wouldn't be a deal breaker, the blood bag. Nah, it's just blood. That's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I never got hurt by a little blood. That's okay. This seems like a complete 180. You were so against it a couple of minutes ago. Now you're all for it. You're well, like, it's suddenly she became super hot. I mean, what am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Noted. Nizov, super hot. I mean, she's a perfect. She's perfect. No. In the blood bag? No, okay, what because if Because this is exactly like this is what I know what this is leading into. Sure. Um, And no, I think if she's showing signs of stuff that i can't understand like if it's i need x to get off and i can't get my head around x at all that's weird i don't want i don't want to get into it i don't think this is a sexual thing it's not sexual this is aesthetic yeah oh so she's, she just needs this to not get hard she just needs this she all just the likes time. it but no sure feel nice yeah she's a fashionista and she's like i'm gonna start wearing blood bags everyone else is gonna do cool. it are you on board or are you gonna be a square and yeah. not let me all wear right. my blood bag? i'm gonna be a square in 2021 and get off this fashion train wow well, you don't need to participate in the fashion you just need to bang her every once in a while yeah yeah hard fast and hard you fast. still but she you, you're not even involved in the blood bag like she just she puts it I on. I'm involved she... in the blood bag because I'm being asked about it. So there is some sort of involvement, and in if I'm be okay with it, I mean the answer is no. And I feel like you guys are trying to pressure me, uh, force me yes. into a corner be that I'm not comfortable. But your standards with. are unreasonable. You're gonna die alone because everybody has something okay. weird. Okay, here's what. Okay, we're having a different conversation right blood now because bag. that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about this blood bag thing. We're talking about the fet. We're, we're, we're what are we this, talking about? We're talking about this fetish conversation that we had off camera a yes. couple days ago. Okay, so to bring everybody okay. in on the discussion. So uh, the the argument was, if the uh, <laughs> if a girl that is the girl of your dreams, yes, said, hey, before we get into it. I need you to squash a bug with your bare foot. This is because we had a video of someone with a fetish for bug squashing. Right. Okay. And everyone around me's answer was like, yeah, no problem. I'll kill that bug with my bare foot. And I was the only one that was like, no, that's a deal breaker. I'm not going to be with this person. Like, that's the last time I'm going to hang out with this person. And you guys called me R-worded. You guys called me <laughs> F-worded. You called me all the words. You're R-worded, <laughs> F-worded. You're total FGT, RTD. Because yeah, a total FGT is what you guys called me. Yeah, yeah because... <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> Because, <laughs> because why? Because oh I don't want to kill animals. Oh my she's God. your dream she, girl. She's your dream girl. No, she's not. My dream girl doesn't want me to kill animals before we do stuff. But sexuality sometimes is weird, and it's like you're wiring, dude. Yeah, it's you're, not you're about. Shaming. Yeah, you're kink shaming. Exactly, Zolo. Oh. Might be. I guess I'm not like as hip as these Gen Zers out here. But you're so uninclusive. No, but here's the thing. What am I finding <laughs> out about this squish fetish? On date one? No, dude. She's your dream girl. So this is like... So r like on my wedding night? That's no, what I'm finding out about no, it? You're... What am I finding out? Okay, okay. Listen, listen. You're three months in. Uh-huh. You said the I love you. She Sex is great. She's like, you know what, babe? I mean, she's great. She's everything you want, Nadav. And she's in bed with you one night. And she's like, Nadav, I love you so much. Gosh, you're just so amazing. But I have to tell you, our sex life is amazing. But I want to take it to the next level. I want you to step on these bugs for me. And if you do that, Nadav, our sex life is going to be at a 20. It's at a 10. I want it at a 20. Mm. And you're going to, what What do you say? I'll be like, 10 out of 10 was working great for me. Oh my God, you're going to 10 out of 10 was working great for me. Pack your bags. I want you to oh. leave. This is going to be the last time we talk. You're wow. insane. Unbelievable. You guys are the weird ones. Wow. You guys are being the weird ones. I can't believe that. You would throw out, the woman, the woman of your dreams, because of a, a sexual well, no, cause, kink. Because she's hiding this crazy thing that she likes to kill animals. It is crazy. She likes to kill animals to get off, and the I want no, no part of it. She are... doesn't kill them. You kill them. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I'm still out, guys. <laughs> but bugs are not like yes, they're animals, but they're not like domestic animals. Like right, people right. don't. People do have like pet roaches, but those people have mental problems. It's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, but this girl of my dreams doesn't. No, it's sexual. It's just purely sexual. Yeah. It's like pup play. It's not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I Look, guys, I'm not going to fall into this hole that you're digging for me. <laughs> okay, what if, like, you're not going <laughs> to marry her? She's not a dream girl. It's just a hookup every once in a while. Uh-huh. It's like a once a, once a month thing. Uh-huh. You're not going to partake. Everything else is the second, amazing. The second I find out about that bug thing, that's going to be the last oh time. Oh, my God. Why? Because I don't. I mean, look, I can't. like I said, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't want to understand it. I'm out. Listen, and you for just... that and for that reason, sharks, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that you, you you know nobody's perfect, and we all have these things. And like, I agree. You can't just you can't disqualify someone just on something so tiny like that. You know. Okay, but okay, if someone approaches you and is just like, "Hey, Christi- hey, Christina, every time right before we make love, I need to just cut off a sliver of your pinky." Well, that's gonna harm me. That's gonna kill me in the long run. I'll bleed to death. Oh, so as long pinky. as you're not the one getting hurt. All right, Christina, I need you to sliver off a pinky I just, of all of your closest I, relatives. Nadav, what is this argument? Yeah, We're talking about like silly. stepping on like cricket or this, cutting off all, your finger? These are all insane it's requests. Silly. They're all no. insane. Yeah. It's silly. The blood bag, first of all, the blood bag harms nobody. It's fake blood. Let's go back to blood bag because I think I think the the bug thing is an animal rights issue, and we're now we're those are two different it's issues. The blood bag is just like it's a weird aesthetic choice that she makes, and that's cosmetic. It's like oh. someone wearing lame lame I feel like jeans. I'm talking to a bunch of colorblind R words that can't see a <laughs> red flag when they fucking see it. It's right in front of your eyes. Like, oh, is it okay if I have this bag of fake blood around my neck? You're like, yeah, no problem. Let's go fuck in the next room. Dude. No, they are not fucking anymore. Listen, let me, let me tell you this, okay? I, I hear what you're saying. When I was in high school, I was with a guy for four years who wore a fucking black velvet dress and makeup and... <laughs> uh-huh. this is before any of this was cool yeah and the sweetest most wonderful guy on the planet where and does the blood come in did he drink your, <laughs> no did he drink your blood no that came but from i'm your... just saying like y- that's just an aesthetic choice it doesn't mean but you that... were like that back then to, like okay so you were a golf <laughs> chick dating a golf dude wild christina what wild limits you have but what i'm crazy boundaries but you've never dated somebody that did something aesthetically that you were kind of like that's that's a choice and you just let it go you just go like oh well, okay I, I just don't think it's that big of a deal i just don't think it's a big a deal you know what i just don't think i've been uh uh exposed to these types of obstacles in the women you're gonna die alone you need to <laughs> you need to make some concessions because i, because I won't because of the because of the lack of blood bags and bug squishing in yes. my life, I'm gonna die alone you have to make concessions then right you know solo <laughs> solo yeah, am i right to. You have to. Everyone's got something weird about them, and you just have to embrace it. Look, I agree with that, right? too. But if the thing is is that I have to kill animals before we fuck or wear a bag of, of your blood around my neck, I'm not <laughs> so into square. it. so square. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm a big like, old F. G- yeah, I yeah, get it. I get yeah. it. <laughs> You're F G T R T D, and I, I, I can't even believe you work here. I don't know. <laughs> Right, it's like you guys thought Chris was the moral compass, but yeah, here, hold on, yeah, hey, hey, Chris, what yeah. do you think of all this crazy you fucking shit? Fucking nerd, would you dog. kill animals Chris before would, you fuck a woman? Chris would step on some bugs. No, he's a uh, nerd. That's hard now on the blood bags, uh, <laughs> but I'd probably get over the, the bugs. <laughs> oh! There you go. This, Damn, even Chris would do it, bro. This is complete horse shit. This is like he, Dude, nah, he's, no, 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 no. Even no, no, no. Chris would do it, and Chris is the most moral and good and normal of all of us. He's the healthiest of all of us. No, no, no. But here's what's happening, Christine. All right. Is, yeah. Is that native? It's 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 not that he's the moral compass, and he's his compass has been skewing south ever since he started <laughs> working here. Okay. His up is down. His down is up. Whatever. His east is all west. Right. Everything's all fucked. All right. can't even no, take no, it. no. Right. I, I think Chris, when he started working here, would have the same answer because that's yeah. what a rational person would say. Yeah, yes, so I'll smart. step on some bugs. No, dude. Okay. You're both wrong. Nadav, you're R worded and you're FJT. <laughs> uh, chime in and let us know if Nadav is R worded. Your mom's <laughs> podcast at gmail.com. Oh God, Go ahead is... and we're going to take an official poll in essence and uh, dolo you will go through these emails and let's take a poll and see if he's r worded or not for not wanting to squish bugs the the question is is nadav an fgt rtd because he won't squish bugs for the the woman of his dreams okay go yeah. ahead and submit those emails submit them and put bugs in the subject line and just put uh, r worded or not was mm-hmm. that is that so that you don't have to go through all the emails? Yes, he's R worded. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, keep it brief. Get Just to the point. Simple. Is Nadoff R worded? Okay, yeah. and then if you don't <laughs> require bugs to be squished in relationships that you're in, you know, just uh, you know, 
say that you're down for whatever. It's just like it does, it's not whether I'm retarded or not. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, this is a rough episode for you. This is like, the roughest. Yeah. This is the roughest episode of my life. But it, it, you, you just need help. You need tough We're love. cutting 45 minutes into this episode. No, we're not. No, we're not. Don't you touch it. I will fucking not let that happen. All right. All right. Well, let's let's wrap things up, you guys. Uh, thank you so much, mommies, for watching, for listening, for being a part of our YMH family. Uh, pretty soon, I hope soon enough, we'll have our Tommy Buns back in studio um, but any hoodles, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you and, uh, go ahead and, uh, I'm coming up in May. All right. High and tight. Bye. Piss the fuck off right now, man. This letter was not orange when I bought it. It was not orange when I bought this motherfucker. If this was the real lighter thing, it was right here, man. Silver. A silver lighter. Take off the motherfucker paper. Orange fucking lighter. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.